In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. The hour has come. The hour that God has decided to do things in the life of his people. Can you be on your feet as we celebrate the King of Kings? Wave your hand unto him. And tell him, Father, I thank you that I am among the living. I am not counted among the dead, but among the living. Precious Daddy, we thank you. Jehovah, God of Israel, we worship you. 
We give you our glory. Thank you, excellent Jehovah, for another restoration service like this. Lord, we lift your name high. Open your mouth and acknowledge the King of Kings. Bow down your head and tell him, Father, I worship you. That I am among the living is by your making. Thank you, Thank you excellent Lord, Jehovah. Thank you, the God of reality. Thank you, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. Thank you, the unchangeable changer. Thank you, the lily of the valley, the brother morning star. Thank you, the Shekinah glory. Thank you, the bread of life, the tree of life. Thank you, the river of life. Lord, we worship you, we give you glory. Oh, Father, we say thank you because you are worthy. Lord, we say thank you because we are among the living. We are not counted among the dead, but among the living. We exalt your holy name, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you for your mercy. Oh. Jehovah, we thank you for your goodness and mercy. We exalt your holy name. We say Hosanna unto you, Lord. Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you for the gift of life. Open your mouth to acknowledge God wherever you are all over the world. Listening to us this hour. Wave your hand and acknowledge God. Let the enemy know that you are alive. Worship your maker. Thank you, worship him, worship him because he's worthy. Oh, daddy, thank we thank you. you Jehovah, we bless your holy name. The holy one of Israel, we thank you. The only true God, we worship you. The living God, we bow before you. The Shekinah glory, we worship you. The Alpha and Omega, we worship you. The father to the fatherless, we will worship you. The husband of the widow, we worship you. The hope to the hopeless, we worship you. Father, this morning we acknowledge you. We thank you because there is none like you. We are alive today is by your making. Oh Lord, we thank you for your protection. We thank you for your provision. We thank you for your kindness, oh Jesus. Thank you for your healing, oh Lord, oh Jesus. We thank you for miracles, oh Lord. Father, we give you glory. We bow down before you, ancient of the days. We bow down before you, the creator that was not created. We bow down before you, the Afan Omega. We bow down before you, the rock of ages. We bow down before you, the ocean divider. The problem solver, the only one that answers prayer, the solution to our problems, the answers to our prayers, the solution to our needs. Father, we worship you, we give you our glory. Oh Lord, our God, we bless your holy this morning. Ah. Jesus, we worship you this morning. We lift your name high this hour, oh God. We are thanking you because you are worthy. Only you are worthy of our thanks. Only you are worthy of our praise. Only you are worthy of our praise. We can worship others. We cannot bow down before any except you. You own our thanks. That's why we thank you this morning for your protection, for your provision, for your lovely kindness, for your mercy. Jehovah God of Israel, Lord Jesus Christ, we worship you this morning. We thank you, O Lord. Upon our families, we thank you. We thank you, O Lord, upon the loved ones. We thank you upon the church. Jehovah, we worship you. Upon this country, we thank you. We give you our glory. We worship you, Father. Father, we worship you. We worship you. Receive our glory. Yes, sir. Abba, Father, is your name. We bow down before you. All glory, honor, and adoration belong to you, Lord. Belong to you, Lord. Not to be praised, not to be worshipped, not to be adored, except you. 
You are the only true God. Every other gods are liars. Every other gods are man made God. You are the creator that was not created. You are the creator that was not created. Oh God. You are the God of gods. The Lord of lords. Nation of the days. Oh Father, we thank you. Abba, Father, we give you glory. Jehovah, we honor you. We acknowledge you. We say you are good. Father, we say you are good. Jehovah, we say you are good. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. Father, you are wonderful. Daddy, you are wonderful. You are a prayer answering God. You are the one that provides for us. Whatever we are today, oh Lord, is by your making. Without you, our existence will be invalid. Without you, our existence will be useless. Lord, we give you all glory. Jehovah, we give you all honor. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we worship. Brethren, I want you to see every reason to appreciate this God. When you listen to news, you will have reason to appreciate God. When you look back, you will see that people you started this race with, thousands of them are nowhere to be found. Some have had their permanent site in the grave. Some are still in the mortuary, ready to go to that permanent site. Some are in the hospitals, suffering from one thing or the other. Some are in prison for one reason or the other. And I hope you know it's not everybody in the prison that are guilty. But look at you and I freely walking. I want to announce to you if you don't acknowledge this God, you become ungrateful. But I believe none of us will be ungrateful. That's why I want you to shout thank you Lord Jesus Christ two times. And give this God thanks concerning your family, concerning your marriage, concerning your activities, concerning the church, concerning the countries where we are. Any country you are all over the world. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. And start giving this God thanks. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Shall we go? Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. I appreciate this God. Father, we thank you for this church called Brother Assembly Church. We thank you for your churches all over the world. Father, we thank you, oh Lord, for the country we are. This country called Nigeria, we thank you. We, we thank you. Any country you are all over the world, thank God upon that country. That country may still be in existence because you are in that country. That city may still be in existence because you are in that city. When the mercy of God come upon a man, I tell you, God can do everything to protect whatever that man is. To protect whatever that woman is. Father, we thank you upon our families. We thank you upon our wives, our children, our husbands. Lord, we give you our glory upon our families, upon our friends. On behalf of our parents, we thank you. Thank God concerning the pastors, the teachers, the evangelists, the prophets. Oh, Jesus, we thank you. Thank him because your two legs are active, walking. You can walk with your legs, thank God. You can move your hand left and right, thank God. You can see with your eyes, thank God. You can breathe with your nose, thank God. You can eat with your mouth, thank God. I tell you, many people out there have not that opportunity. But my Bible tells me, in every circumstances, we should thank him. Giving thanks, no matter the challenges you are passing through. Giving thanks, no matter the challenges you are passing through. Worship this God because he's worthy. Father, we lift your name high. Oh, Jesus Christ, the merciful God. He that is greater than the greatest. 
We worship you this morning, yes, sir. We must worship you. You are Lord our God. Beside you, there is no God. Beside you, there is no God. Hey. He is the hope of the hopeless. This God is too committed, he cannot fail us. This God is too faithful, he cannot fail us. Worship him is only through God. Every other gods are liars. Every other gods are failures. Every other gods are liars. We are talking about the spring deity of all deities. The head of all principalities and power. The president of all presidents. The governor of all governors. The king of kings. Father, we give you all glory. We worship you, we honor you. Thank you because you are worthy. Lord, we lift your name high. Give it thanks. 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 Worship this God. Worship him. Oh. Thank him because you are not in the hospital. Thank him because you are not in the mortuary. Oh, worship him is not because you are righteous. It is his mercy. Oh, Father, we thank you. We acknowledge you. Father, we worship you. We honor you. There is none like you. None to be compared with you. King of glory, we worship you. Jehovah God of Israel, we honor you. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. Thank you, precious God. Thank you, the almighty God. Lord, we give you all glory. Worship him. Let him know that he's faithful. Father, we know you are faithful in the morning. You are faithful in the noon. You are faithful at the night. Every day of our life, you are faithful. We return our glory to you. We return our glory to you. We say you are good. Lord, you are good. Jehovah, you are good. King of glory, you are good. Abba, Father, you are good. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. Thank you, miracle-working God. Thank you. We thank you. We cannot stop thanking you. We can't stop worshiping you. You are worthy of our worship. You are worthy of our praise. Lord, we give you all glory. Jehovah, we thank you. Acknowledge him. Thank him in that situation. Thank this God in that situation. Thank him in that your needs. Oh. Worship him, worship him. Worship him, worship him. Give him all glory, give him all glory. Oh, let him know that him alone is God. Let him know that he's worthy of your praise. Give him thanks. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we worship. Listen to me. I don't know the challenges you are into. No man has the ability to solve your problem. No woman has what it takes to solve your problem. And why that thing is a problem unto you is because you yourself cannot solve it. Praise the Lord. You yourself cannot solve it. It becomes a problem because your husband cannot solve it. Your wife cannot solve it. Your children cannot solve it. Your parents cannot solve it. Your pastor cannot solve it. Your bishop cannot solve it. Your problem, your prophet cannot solve it. But we have the almighty God. I call him the hope for the hopeless. When you are hopeless, you come to him, he will give you hope. Hallelujah. What I want to tell you now is that the Bible says no one come before him and remain the same. But for you to get to God, you must go with thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. You must go with what? Thanksgiving. 
drop down your problem on the feet of Jesus. Whatever is your challenge, whatever is whatever, the Bible says is the head of all principalities and powers. Another scripture says, if God be for us, who can be against us? Hallelujah. Drop all, anything you call problem, drop it at the feet of Jesus Christ and appreciate him. And I want to assure you, by the time you finish appreciating God, you will look for that problem, you will not see it. Can I hear a louder amen? I say you will not be able to pick that problem. The reason is because you will search for it, you will not see it. When God comes down to receive praises from you, every demons, everything called problem will disappear because they cannot withstand his presence. Hallelujah. Lift up your hand. Shout, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, seven times with a loud voice and start giving him thanks in every situation. See, mention that problem and say, Father, I am thanking you for this problem. I am thanking you for this sickness. I am thanking you for this issue. Whatever it is. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Seven times shall we go. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Two. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Three. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Four. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Five. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Six. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Seven. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. I give you thanks. Father, we are thanking you. Thank you I don't God. know. Is there anyone that is buried? Thank we are thanking you because she's buried. Lord. Is there anyone that is poor? We are Whatever. thanking you because they are poor. Yeah. Is there anyone that is sick? We are thanking you for that sickness. Is there anyone with one challenge or the other? We are thanking you. Your children is thanking you for that issue. Your children is thanking you for one problem or the other. We are thanking you because we know we cannot live here with that problem. Lord, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Every challenge in our marriage, we thank you. Every challenge in the church, we thank you. Every challenge in our life as an individual, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Every challenge is at all we have. Oh, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you. In every challenge is at all, we give you all glory. Jehovah, we give you all glory. We thank you, Father. Open your mouth, acknowledge him. Mention that case. Mention that there are needs. And give him thanks. Give it thanks. Give it thanks. Whatever it is, no problem can overtake God. God is too mighty to buy before any problem. No demon can withstand him. Worship him. Give it thanks. Give it thanks. In that your weakness, give it thanks. Give it thanks. Give it thanks, give it thanks. Give it thanks. Thank you, Lord. Give it thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Give it thanks, give it thanks. Thank you, my Lord. Whatever. Worship him, worship him. It is by your grace. Many. Worship him, worship him. Give it thanks, give it thanks. Give him thanks. What is that challenge? Make sure that challenge and thank him. Make sure that challenge and thank him. Make sure that challenge and thank him. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Tell him, Father, I thank you. You are seeking for promotion. Thank him. You are looking for fruit of the womb. Thank him. Somebody is intimidating you. Thank him. Jesus, whatever I am you are sick. Thank him. Mention the name of that sickness. And thank him. Thank him. What is that challenge you are passing through? Give him thanks. Mention that challenge and give him thanks. His ear is widely open to hear you. 
is a problem solver. Is a problem solver. Give him thanks. Worship him so that his presence will come down. Give him thanks so that he will come down to harvest his praises. To receive it, their thanks. I say, thank this God. Open your mouth wide. Open your mouth wide and thank this God. He's a faithful God. Give him thanks. The reason is because I can't thank him enough. Mention those issues. Those things you call problem. Those things you call problem. Give him thanks. Worship him. Worship him. What is your heart desire? Give him thanks concerning it. Yeah, well, Give him thanks, give him thanks. Give him thanks, he's worthy. There's no me without you. Give him thanks, he's worthy. Where would I be without you? Where would I be without you, Lord? In Jesus Christ, mighty name. We worship. Listen to me. I want you to see yourself as the most luckiest person in today's service. The reason is because the angel of today's service appear here once it's 8 a.m. with everybody's packages. And you are here early. Hallelujah. Your angel will not pass you by. Your angels will not pass you by. Your miracle will not pass you by. Now you have appreciated God for the challenges you are passing through. I want you to appreciate God for your desire. Mention your desires and say, Father, I thank you. The reason why I'm thanking you is because I know, I am sure, you are the only one that will take care of this. You are the only one that will give me this. I want to be a landlady in Lagos. I want to be a landlord in Lagos. You are the only one that can do it. I have no power to do it. I want to achieve this. I want to achieve this. I am thanking you because as I present it to you, as I am thanking you, you have done it already. I am thanking you in advance because I am sure before the end of this service, that will be a miracle. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate the King of King, the Lord of Lords. Celebrate him with your clap of faith. Worship him because there is no harm. You can't give him money. You can't give him food. The only thing you can give him is worship. Open your mouth and start thanking him. Thank him for your expectation. Thank him for your desire. What is that thing you want to achieve this month? That have not going to pass. Today is the last Tuesday of the month of March. What is that good thing that you want to achieve this month that you have not achieved? What is that good thing that you want to achieve this week that you have not achieved? What is that good thing that you want to achieve this year that you have not achieved? Give him thanks. Mention it. Mention it and give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Let your heart be full of joy and happiness. Give him thanks. Give this God thanks. I say give him thanks. Let him hear your voice. Father, we thank you because you are a miracle working God. Father, we lift your name high because you are the giver of husband. You are the giver of wife. You are the giver of children. You are the giver of wealth. You are the giver of divine health. We thank you because you hear. Ah. For I thank you because I know you protect us. Father, we thank you because I know you bless us. Because in blessing you will bless us. Lord, we give you a glory. Because we know in today's service we must testify. Father, we know in today's service we must testify. In today's restoration service, I know you will restore us. You will heal us. Lord, we thank you. We are here with our heart of desires. We are here, oh Lord, because we know and we are sure you are going to do it. We have no power to achieve anything if not you. Oh Lord, we give it thanks. We lift your name high. We exalt your holy name. Be that we exalted. In 
In Jesus Christ, mighty name we worship. In Jesus Christ, mighty name we worship. Before we go further, we're going to ask God for mercy. The only reason why we will not receive from God is sin. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 59, verse 1 and 2, say that the ear of God is not heavy that he cannot hear us, neither his hand. Behold, the hand, behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot serve us, neither his ear heavy that he cannot hear us. But our iniquity have separated us between you and I, between us and God. Praise the Lord. We are going to ask God for mercy. If you are where you, I will go on my knees. When you go on your knees, is a sign of I am sorry. It's a sign of humbleness. As you are going down on your knees, let your heart go down on your knees. Focus your mind on the cross of Calvary. Focus your mind on the throne of mercy. You will shout the mercy of God once, the blood of Jesus Christ once, and ask God for mercy. The mercy of God, shall we go? The mercy of God, the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ, ask him for mercy. Anywhere you are all over the world, sorry, listening to us, tell him, Father, I am I sorry for am this. Sorry, it's between Lord. you and him. You know that life you are living that is contrary to his will. You know what you are eating that is contrary to his will. You know what you are drinking that is contrary to his will. You know the way you treat people by your side, people around you. Tell him, Father, I am sorry. I have sinned against you. I have sinned against man. I have sinned against myself. Even in the church, I have sinned against you. In the department you gave to me to take care of, I am not faithful. In my marriage, I am more faithful. Before my children, I am more faithful. Before my wife, my husband, I am more faithful. In the ministry, as a pastor, I am not faithful. As a prophet, I am not faithful. As an evangelist, I am not faithful. Oh, Father, as a teacher, I am more faithful. As a counselor, I am not faithful. Father, I am sorry. As a parent, I am not faithful. Tell him, Father, I am sorry. Lord, I am sorry. I am sorry, I am sorry Lord. I am sorry, That's why I come before the cross of Calvary. Ask him for mercy. Where the blood was shed to remit my sin. Lord, let that blood that speak a better thing than the blood of Abel. Oh, Lord, cleanse away all my, all, all my iniquity, all my transgression. Take God to have mercy upon the church. Yes, sir. Lord, let your mercy rain upon the church. Yes, sir. Let your mercy rain in our families, in our communities, in our countries, in the city where we live, wherever we are, in the village, anywhere, oh Lord. Whatever sin that the enemy we hold, that the kids of brother we hold against our expectation, that we hold against the miracle of God in our life, that we hold. Against our desires, Lord, we plead for mercy. Father, let your mercy rain upon us as an individual, as a group, as a church, as a family, as a nation. We pray for mercy, even upon our leaders. Let the mercy of God rain. Let the mercy of God rain upon the leaders in our countries. Let your mercy rain. Let your mercy rain upon the pastors, the overseers, the pastors. Let your mercy rain upon the prophets, the prophetess. Let your mercy rain upon the evangelists, the teachers, every workers in your vineyard. Lord, we plead for mercy. Jehovah, we plead for mercy. Let your mercy rain, O Lord. Father, let your mercy rain upon the land. Ah, Papa, let your mercy rain. Let your mercy rain. Whatever is whatever that will stand against us, that will make your ear heavy not to hear us, that will shorten your hand not to serve us. Father, we ask for mercy. Jehovah, we cry for mercy. Lord, let your mercy rain. King of glory, let your mercy rain. Let your mercy rain. The Bible says, by your mercy we are not consumed. Father, by your mercy we are not consumed. 
Therefore, let your mess run that the enemy will not be able to consume us. Thank you, Father, for answering us. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Be on your feet and celebrate Jesus. Thank God we are serving a merciful God. Thank God we are serving a merciful God. Listen, I have such all spirit. No spirit has mercy except the spirit of God. Lucifer have no mercy. Demons have no mercy. Mommy, weta, papi, weta, have no mercy. Anytime you feel that devil is giving you a second chance, he's taking life. Hallelujah. There is no mercy. They don't have attribute of mercy. That's why I'm so excited when I remember the mercy of God concerning you and I. I have everything to tell him, Father, I thank you. Celebrate him once again. For him giving you opportunity to serve him that have mercy. Hallelujah. I told people, the moment devil give you cap, any day you see yourself, that devil will give you cap, he will go after your head. When he give you shoe, he will go after your leg. Hallelujah. The reason is because he have nothing to offer. The Bible says in John 10 verse 10, is a thief. He come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus Christ have come that you and I may have life and have it more abundantly. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. You are going to take God into the restoration service. Every pronouncement concerning restoration that will come through the man of God, that will come through every vessel you are going to use today, may I be a partaker of that restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ, two times and pray that prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, louder. In the name of Jesus Christ, fire that prayer. Into the restoration service, every pronouncement concerning restoration that will proceed from the mouth of your servant today, may I be a partaker. May I be a partaker of that restoration. Father, may I be a partaker, O oh Lord. Let me be a living testimony of the world restoration. Father, at the end of today's service, of oh God, may I be one of them, maybe among them that we testify concerning restoration. As your children, as your servants, we man the puppy today to make a statement, to pronounce a statement concerning restoration. May my life be restored. May my marriage be restored. May my children be restored. May my peace be restored. May my joy be restored. May my happiness be restored. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. May my finance be restored. May my health be restored. May I be a partaker. May I be a partaker of the blessing from you in today's restoration service. Today's restoration service. Pray that prayer and the Lord will restore you. Pray that prayer and the Lord will restore you. I say pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. And the Lord who you have come to seek, he will restore you. I say he will restore you. Pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. The God we are serving is too faithful to fail us. He cannot fail us. This God has no ability to fail. What he says is what he will do. When he says, I am God of restoration, that means he has the ability to restore. I am a living testimony that God restores. I am a living testimony that God restores. I want you to pray that prayer. Before the end of this service, by the pronouncements that we come forth from the servants of God this morning, from the servants of God from this altar, the Lord will use it to restore you. Hey, pray that prayer. Tell him, Father, let me be a partaker of people that he will restore today by the pronouncement from your servants. By the pronouncement from your servants. Let me be a partaker. The Bible says, no one come before the Lord and remain the same. You have come before the spring date of all deities. You have come before him that have the ability to do all things. 
You have come before the protocol breaker. Yeah, pray that prayer, pray that prayer. Today is a restoration service. We are in a restoration church. We are in a restoration church. Tell him, Father, because I am in a restoration service, and because I am in a restoration church, and because we are the God of restoration, Father, may I be restored today, financially, spiritually, physically, maritally, academically. May I be restored. Tell him, Father, may I be restored by the pronouncement of your servant today. Hey, may I be a partaker of today's restoration. May I be a partaker of today's restoration. May I be a partaker of today's restoration. May I be a partaker. May my family be a partaker. May my children be a partaker. May my husband be a partaker. May my wife be a partaker of today's restoration. Father, restore. I am in your presence. I am in your presence. May I be a partaker. He said, you believe your word, I will be established. He said, you believe the word of your servant, I will prosper. Father, I believe your word. That is why I am here, to be established. I believe the word of your ministers. That is why I am here, to prosper. Pray that prayer. 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 In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. You will give me that amen two times and say, blood of Jesus Christ, settle the matter. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Blood of Jesus Christ, settle the matter. You are going to tell God. Any demon in assignment to frustrate me in today's service, Listen to me. The Bible said in the book of Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 that the power of life and death is upon your tongue. Is in your tongue. Proverbs 18 21. The power of life and death is in your tongue. Am I saying something? The power of life and death is in your tongue. You are going to speak any demon in assignment to frustrate me here today, to frustrate my restoration, to frustrate my expectation, to frustrate my desire, to frustrate my miracle, I come against you by fire. I slaughter you. I behead you. I cast you to the abyss. In the name of Jesus Christ, once, let's go. I can hear you. Fire that prayer. Any demon in assignment from my community, from my village, from the compound where I live, from the compound where I have lived before, from where I am doing business, from the office where I am working, any demon in assignment at all, any territorial demon, any follow follow demon to frustrate my protection, I behead you, I slaughter you, fire that prayer. Any demon is any demon. Be you, mommy, with that demon. Papi, with that demon. Baba, love with demon. Mama, love with demon. Any demon from grave. Any demon from backyard. Any demon from tree. Any demon from tree junction. Any demon that spring up from anywhere at all that is meant to frustrate me. I behead you. I slaughter you by the sword. Of the spirit, you demon that refuses my promotion, you demon that refuses my conception, you demon that are saying no to my deliverance. I am in the presence of God by the power of the spoken word. I come against you by fire, I come against you by fire. Any demon that wants to frustrate me, any demon that says I will not testify. In today's service, I come against you by fire. Any demon that said I will not testify, I come against you by fire. Any demon is any demon. 
wherever you come from, wherever you are operating from, hey, from what are demon on the land, demon on the earth, I come against you by the power of the spoken word. By the power of the spoken word, I come against you. You demon, you shall not stand. Neither will it come to pass. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Any demon that comes to attack my spiritual life, any demon that wants to frustrate my prayer life, any demon that said I will not testify in today's service, any demon that said I will not be restored, I cut off the head of that demon. I don't care to know where that demon is coming from. I cut off the head of that demon. Fire that prayer. 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 Anything more in assignment to trouble me. I behead that demon. I behead that demon. I behead that demon. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, pray, pray. Whether the demon is from your maternal place, whether it's coming from where you marry. Anywhere is anywhere. Oh, I cut off the head of that demon. That demon that said that we not testify in today's service. I come against you by fire. I come against you by thunder. Fire that prayer. Fire that prayer. Yes, I hear you. That is power in the blood. Fire that prayer, fire that prayer. Any demon, is any demon. There is power in your blood. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Blood of Jesus Christ, settle the matter. I join my faith with you. I love the way many of you are praying. Even our brethren online, I join, I love the way many of us are praying. I join my faith with you. Any demon in existence, sign to frustrate your testimony today, to frustrate your expectation today, I join my faith with you. I behave that demon in the name of Jesus Christ. I behead those demons in the name of Jesus Christ. Any demon from water, whether mommy without, papi without, demon from the earth, be you Baba Lawa, Mama Lawa, any demon living in those bin, living in any tree, any demon from graveyard, any demon on air, every community demon, every national demon, local demons, international demon, sign to frustrate you, saying that he will not testify today. If I can hear your amen like a tender, I come against those demons by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against those demons in the name of Jesus Christ. Today mark the end of any demon that trouble your spiritual lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to pray and take God. Any covenant that I'm into. That still works against me. Covenant I know the one I don't know. The one that has been in existence before I was born in my father's compound. The one that has been in existence before I was married to that family. The one that has been in existence before I was, I was, you know, married to that family. Be you a man, be you a woman. The moment you marry to a woman, you are a member of that family. The moment a woman is married to that man, she's a member of that family. Any existing covenant that has been troubling me, you are going to tell God. You will shed the blood of Jesus Christ two times. Let the blood of Jesus Christ separate me from that covenant. The blood of Jesus Christ, let's go. Louder. Fire that prayer. That covenant that say we not testify. That 
That covenant that says you will not be restored. That covenant that has come to frustrate you. I say let it be. Let the blood of Jesus Christ trouble that covenant. That covenant that says today you will not be testified. Hey, fire that prayer. Every covenant with human blood. Every covenant with animal blood. Troubling my marriage. Troubling my health. Troubling my children. Troubling my house. Troubling my wife, my children, my husband. Any good covenant. With the name of one community or the other. With the name of a state. Let that evil covenant be broken. I come against that covenant. Fire that prayer, fire that prayer. Any covenant in assignment, any covenant in assignment that shall we not testify today, that said that my coming here today will be frustrated. Every covenant that is coming to frustrate me, I come against that covenant. I come against that covenant. I come against that covenant. You covenant from my father's covenant. Blood of Jesus Christ against you. You come around from my mother's place. The blood of Jesus Christ against you. You come around from my law place. The blood of Jesus Christ against you. You evil come around in Lagos State. The blood of Jesus Christ against you. You come around in Nigeria. You demonic come around in Nigeria. Walking against my peace. The blood of Jesus Christ against you. Any covenant that I know that I don't know that is working against my expectation, that are troubling my peace, that are troubling my health, that are troubling my marriage, that are troubling my joy, I come against you with the blood of Jesus Christ. Let the blood of Jesus Christ that mingle with fire, that mingle with blood, that mingle with fire, consume you, consume you. Consume you, consume you. Fire that prayer, fire that prayer. Any covenant is any covenant that I be yours upon me, walking against me. I come against you by fire. I come against you by fire. I come against you by fire. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer. Jesus Christ, I break that covenant, that covenant of poverty, that covenant of illness, yeah, that covenant of barrenness. I break that covenant, I break that covenant, I break that covenant, I come against that covenant, you foundational covenant, you demonic foundational covenant, blood of Jesus Christ is against you. You satanic covenant, blood of Jesus Christ against you. You spiritual demonic covenant, blood of Jesus Christ against you. You physical satanic covenant, blood of Jesus Christ against you. That covenant against my peace, blood of Jesus Christ against you. That covenant against my glory, the blood of Jesus Christ against you. That covenant against my children. The blood of Jesus Christ against you. That covenant against my wife. The blood of Jesus Christ against you. That covenant against our homes. Hey, the blood of Jesus Christ against you. Any evil covenant against the program. The blood of Jesus Christ against you. That evil covenant against the church. The blood of Jesus Christ against you. Any covenant against my celebration. Blood of Jesus Christ against you. The blood of Jesus Christ against you. I come against you. You evil covenant from Marine Kingdom, from Witchcraft Covenant, from Babalawa Kingdom, from Mamalawa Kingdom, from Marine Kingdom, troubling my joy, troubling my glory, troubling the church. The blood of Jesus Christ against you. You satanic covenant. The blood of Jesus Christ against you. You demonic covenant. The blood of Jesus Christ against you. You covenant against the church. Again, Brother Assembly Church. You covenant against the members of the body of Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ against you. You frustration covenant. 
You come for and frustrating our life. The blood of Jesus Christ against you. Fire that prayer. Fire that prayer. Fire that prayer. Fire that prayer. Let heaven hear your voice. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Brothers, pray that prayer. Brothers, pray that prayer. Sisters, pray that prayer. Any covenant at all that are frustrating my peace. That said that we not testify today. That said that I will not be delivered today. That said that I will not be restored today. Ah, blood of Jesus Christ against you. Blood of Jesus Christ against you. You satanic covenant. I don't care to know how you will establish. But I care to know that the blood of Jesus Christ speak a better thing than the blood of ever. The blood of Jesus Christ is the only covenant in existence. You satanic old covenant that has seen claiming chapter over me. I say no to you. I come against you by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. That men go with fire. That men go with fire. That men go with fire. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. The blood that fights battles. The blood that conquers battles. The blood that conquers sickness. The blood that conquers Satan. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Blood of Jesus Christ, settle the matter. I join my faith with you. Any covenant in existence, be it spiritual or physical, established with human blood or animal blood, established with one name or the other, whether it's the name of your state, the name of your country, the name of your community, your family name. A covenant has been raised with those names or those demons. I don't care to know. The only existing covenant that I know is in the covenant in the blood of Jesus Christ. I stand on that covenant in the blood of Jesus Christ. I nullify every demonic covenant against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Do you believe it? Celebrate Jesus if you believe it. Hallelujah. The Bible said in the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 28 I think I'm getting it chapter 2 or 1 he says something. Hallelujah. Listen to me. When God bless you, you are blessed. Hallelujah. Thank you. He said, and God bless them. And God said unto them, be fruitful. Can I hear amen? And God bless you. Say amen. And God said unto you, be fruitful. This fruitfulness is not only to bomb Pekino. You'll be fruitful in finance. You'll be fruitful in wisdom. You'll be fruitful in knowledge. You'll be fruitful in understanding. This fruitfulness is all fruitfulness. And multiply. Replenish the earth. And subdue it. Have dominion over the fishes. But my emphasis is that blessing. You are going to tell God, anywhere I have been cursed, before that cost, this blessing has already been pronounced. Am I saying something? Any cost upon my head, any existing cost in my generation, in my community, in my state, in the country where I am, in the compound where I am living, anywhere I am associated with a cause that said in today's restoration service, I will not be restored. I will not be blessed. I will not be fruitful. I will not multiply. You cause. I come against you with the blessing of the Lord. I come against you by the blessing of the Lord. 
Am I saying something? In the name of Jesus Christ, two times, let's go. Louder. Fire that prayer. Fire that prayer. Any existing cause in my life, led by my father, led by my mother, led by myself, led by my children, led by my parents, led by any man or woman that have been troubling me, that have been troubling me, that God that say I will not be restored today, that God that say I will not be blessed today, that God that say that I will not be healed today, that God that say my coming here today will be in vain. I come against that cause by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, because the Lord say I am blessed. The Lord has blessed me. The Lord has blessed me. The Lord has blessed me to be fruitful. Every cost upon my life, every cost upon the ministry, every cost upon my family, every cost upon my children, every cost hanging on my neck, every cost upon my head, I reject you. I come against you. I come against you. You satanic cause. You cause of barrenness. You cause of poverty. You cause of frustration. Hey, that cause producing rising and falling. Disappointment and failure. I say no to you. I say no to you. You demonic cause. Every cause is every cause that are working against my husband. Working against the pastors. The teachers. The evangelists. Cause working against the church. The God has said in today's restoration service, I will not be restored. I come against that cause by the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer. Be on your feet and pray that prayer. Move and pray that prayer. I am not meant to be cursed. For the Lord has blessed me. Therefore, you cause I reject you. I rebuke you. I reject you. I rebook you. I reject you. I rebook you. I refuse to be cursed. Yes, sir. I refuse to be cursed. I refuse to be cursed. I refuse to be cursed. That cause of barrenness has said no to you. That cause of stagnancy has said no to you. That cause of rising and falling has said no to you. That cause of poverty has said no to you. That cause of problem has said no to you. That cause of sickness has said no to you. Yeah, pray that prayer. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. In Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Blood of Jesus Christ, settle the matter. I join my faith with you, with the ministers in the house. I join my faith with the overseer. I speak into your life. Anything called cause that have been frustrating your marriage, frustrating your physical life, frustrating your spiritual life, frustrating your financial life, today mark the end of those cause in the name of Jesus Christ. I replace those causes with the blessing from above in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your flock in abundance. Sing that song. And cause your rain to fall on me. Open the flock in abundance. And cause your rain to fall on me. Hallelujah. What type of rain? Are you expecting in today's service concerning your individual life? Concerning you as a family, as a group, as a church? What type of rain? 
What type of rain? Rain of healing? Rain of miracle? Rain of restoration? Rain of breakthrough? Rain. What type of rain do you want God? Are you expecting to fall concerning you today? The mercy of God, two times. Let's go. Louder. Fire that prayer. Take God into that restoration service. I need the rain of restoration in my family. I need the rain of blessing in my family. I need the rain of joy in my family. I need the rain of celebration in my family. I need the rain of peace in my family. I need the rain of happiness in my family. Let the rain of joy fall in my family. Let that be open heaven for rain of wealth to fall in my family. What? What prayer are you expecting? Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Is there an open church? Tell him, Father, let the rain of peace fall in my family. Let the rain of fruitfulness fall in my family. Let the rain of purification fall in my family. Let the rain of excellency fall in my family. Thank God. In today's resurrection service, what rain do you want to fall in your family? Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Let the rain of peace fall in my family.
pray, pray. Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. That amen is a Tokumbo amen. Let your amen be from above. Let your amen show that yes, you are in the house of God. Let your amen show that yes, God will deliver you today. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. That amen is for yourself. I want the amen to shake this silly or roof. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. This brother, they get away well. I say, I want your amen to pull. You know your amen can go somewhere now and break forth for you. Because you are shouting it in faith and in spirit. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. It may one more time. Let it be seven times now. And I tell you, by the mercy of God, somebody testimony will manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Uh huh. Three, four, five, six. For the last time. Somebody celebrate Jesus Christ. Celebrate your maker this morning. Celebrate the King of Kings, the Alpha and Omega. Appreciate him, whether with your language. Thank him one more time. We are going to praise him for 10 minutes, then we'll take our prayer. But I believe you have your water. Praise the living Jesus Christ. It's good to appreciate God first thing in the morning. No matter what it is, when you wake up, you need to thank him. When you wake up, you need to appreciate him. When you wake up, you need to praise him. By the mercy of God, today is the last Tuesday in the month of March. God will give somebody testimony. I say God will open a door for you that have been closed for years in the name of Jesus Christ. I be not being told you could be. Somebody say, I must shine my shine. I believe one thing. As a man of faith, that within now and by the end of this same March, God can still open your door. God can still fight your battle. And because you are in the house of God, He will fight your battle in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to praise God just 10 minutes, no time. I beg, no. Close eye, don't look your neighbor. I appreciate him. Because one thing is for you being alive today, that is number one testimony. The greatest testimony on earth, being alive among the living, not the dead. Many are, they have died today, but you are still alive, no matter the situation. Is that not enough to appreciate God? Is that not enough to say, Father, I thank you? Because being alive definitely. There's opportunity for you for the following day for you to have testimony. So let's praise him just 10 minutes, then we'll continue. Please hold. I hope my you have your water. My eyes have seen your hands. My ears have heard. My mouth will talk about the goodness of God. My eyes have seen. My ears have heard. My mouth to talk about the goodness of God. My eyes have seen, my eyes have seen, oh Jesus, my eyes have seen. My mouth to talk about the goodness of God. My eyes have seen, my eyes have seen, oh Jesus, my eyes have heard. My mouth to talk about the goodness of God. My goodness of God. My eyes have seen, my eyes have seen, oh Jesus, my eyes have seen, my eyes have seen. Your hands, your hands to Jesus. Our mouth will always sing of his goodness. We always testify of his faithfulness. Appreciate the Lord with your hands. Our God is faithful. Our God is awesome. He 
It's a privilege to see the last Tuesday of the month of March. Worship you with your hands. Your clap offering unto the Lord. Appreciate it. Your hands, your hands. Praise him this wonderful morning. You are not on the sick bed. You are not on the life supporting machine. My eyes have seen. Oh, yes, my yes. eyes have heard. My mouth to talk about the goodness of God. The goodness oh, yes, sir. My eyes have seen his goodness. My eyes have heard. My mouth to talk about the goodness. My eyes have seen. My eyes have seen. My eyes have seen. My eyes have heard of his grace. The goodness of the Most High. My eyes have seen. Praise him this morning. He's a wonderful God. Oh, yes, sir. My eyes have seen uh -huh. his goodness. My yes, eyes have seen my eyes here, here. Here. I will sing of your praise. Your mouth has talked a word wonderful. Oh, Jesus, my eyes have seen. Yeah, yeah. My mouth will talk about the goodness of God. Yes, sir. Oh, you, Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Wonderful money. Praise his holy name. Your hands, your hands, your hands to Jesus. It's a blessed day. To the one who is worthy of our praise. Uh, to uh, the one, all praise and honor is due. I come for Jesus Christ. Your hands. It is only the living that can say thank you to Jesus. Yes, sir. So, uh, it is uh, only the living that can show appreciation to the Lord. Appreciate him with your clap offering unto him.
Into the firmament of his form. Yes, sister, brother. Let everything that has breath make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's press him this month. I appreciate him again. I appreciate him. His word is to be praised. I appreciate him. I appreciate him. I appreciate him. I appreciate him. Glorify his name. Oh, yes, sir. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. I appreciate him. Thank him for this morning. Is what it will be praised. I appreciate him again. Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. The mercy of God will speak for somebody this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Before we pray with the water, in a short while, I just want us to take these two prayer points and then we'll pray with the water. You are in the presence of God this morning. And definitely, 
Wherever the children of God are gathered, the enemy does not like it. Whether you know it or not. Because you are coming in the house of God for progress. To meet with Jesus Christ, not with man. And when the enemy see it, because you are different from them, the light and darkness cannot stay together. And you are light of God. So darkness will want to destroy, distract you. But you are in the house of God. We are going to take this prayer this morning. You will tell God, Father, I'm in your house this morning. Whatever will be an hindrance to my prayer today, to my deliverance today, because restoration service is also a deliverance service. Whatever will be an hindrance of me being blessed today, Father, because I'm in your presence, scattered by fire. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Holy Ghost fire, four times, let's go. I can't hear somebody. I can't hear somebody. For the last time, open your mouth and pray that prayer so that you will go with your blessing. So that every prayer you pray today, the Lord will answer it. Pray, Lord, I'm in your presence this morning. Whatever will be a distraction, whatever will stop me from being blessed this morning, Father, because I'm in your, I'm in your presence, let there be separation by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Tell the Lord to disconnect you from them. Whether it's a monitoring spirit, whatever the enemy of your progress, that say you can't be blessed. You are in the solution house today. They don't want you to receive solution. Tell the Lord, Father, today, separate me from them. Separate me from them. Open your mouth and pray, somebody. Don't keep quiet. This is the month of March. March is getting to an end, though. We are to enter April. Somebody, brother, somebody, sister, open your mouth and pray that prayer. You are watching online. Same thing. Pray, 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 pray. Tell the Lord today, whatever will be an hindrance of my prayer today, of my deliverance today, find out the moment. Open your mouth and pray, 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 pray. Oh, yes, sir. Pray, 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 pray. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Pray, oh, pray, oh. Every enchantment. Pray that prayer. Pray, 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 pray. Don't keep quiet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Holy Ghost, 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 Holy Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Holy Ghost, my them. Let the fire go consume them. Holy Ghost, my uh -huh. and consume them. Ebobe Jesus. In their missing place. Uh -huh. In their hiding place. Pray, oh, pray, oh, pray, 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 pray. Temple, pray that prayer. In their shrine. Oh, yes, sir. They yes, sir. Holy Ghost, my. Uh -huh. Holy Ghost, my. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost fire, 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 Holy Ghost so much. Jesus is here. It's a restoration service. You are here to be healed now. You are here for deliverance now. Okay now. Let's go there. My own brother. Pray that prayer. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Oh, yes, sir. Holy Ghost. Pray, 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 pray. pray. Separate them from you. you know, Separate them from your family. You know, oh, yes, sir. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. 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 Y
Christ's name we pray. Let your amen be four times and say, so shall it be. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Uh-huh. Three. For the last time. So shall it be. You know, you are paving your way. I'm not the only one coming to the altar. That thing that say you cannot testify or you will not be delivered today, God is separating you from it. You are going to pray this one too. You are going to tell God. Because last time we were praying, and Brother Sidney was saying a prayer point, and I agreed. You are going to tell God, every unfriendly friend around me, pretending to be my friend, killing me, tormenting me, some now unfriendly friend, I have seen it in person. I have seen it places. You are going to tell God, Father, expose them. Let God expose them. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Holy Ghost fire again four times. Let's go. Two. Three. For the last time. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Deliver that unfriendly me. friend. Me. That is tormenting Deliver you. Me. Oh and Lord, say it cannot be well with you. By your power, Eating by with your you. Mercy. Killing you before your helper. From a killing you before your benefactor. Lord, I'm in your presence. Deliver, Deliver me. me from I suppose that. Pray, 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 pray. By your power, by your mercy. Deliver me, oh Lord. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Oh, Open your mouth and pray, 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 pray. Oh, yes. Let him deliver you from them by his mercy. Deliver me. Pray, 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 pray. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Deliver me, oh, Lord. By your power. Deliver me, oh, Lord. Deliver me, oh, Lord. Pray, 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 pray. Deliver me, oh, Lord. Tell the Lord to expose them. Expose, expose, expose. Commenting my life directly or indirectly, killing me before my help, killing me before my benefactor. Oh, Jesus, Father, expose them by fire. Let it be exposed. Pray, 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 pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Deliver me by your mercy. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Pray, Lord, deliver me from a friendly friend. Evil pronunciation. From evil gathering. Pray, 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 pray. Lord, deliver me from a friendly friend. From household enemy. From every household enemy. Lord, deliver me. Deliver my family. Deliver my children. Every unfriendly friend around us. Every household enemy around us. Lord, let me be delivered from them. Pray in a prayer. Pray in a prayer. By the power of the living God. Your mighty hands of the living. Pray, 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 pray. With your mighty hands of the living. With your mighty hands of the living. Pray in a prayer, someone. Friendly friend around you. Lord, I suppose my fire. You know me, you they do me. You they do me, you know me. You they do me, cast fire. You they do me, you they smile. 
pray with Open me. your mouth and pray. You don't know me. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray. That's fire. You know me. Open your mouth and pray. Yeah. pray. You don't know me. You they do me. Catch fire. You they do me. You they laugh me for that. You don't know me. You they do me. Catch fire. You know me. You they do me. You don't know me. You they do me. Catch fire. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Uh huh. Three. For the last time. So shall it be. Now you pray this one for yourself. You have scattered devil. What are they doing to you? You self can be doing yourself. And make you be in one position. You are going to tell God this morning. Whatever I have used my hand to do that is working against myself, that have keep me stagnant, Father, by your mercy today, deliver me this morning. You understand it? If you don't use your hands, do yourself. Nobody to do you. You will pray that prayer. Whatever I have used my hand to do working against me, Father, this morning, deliver me by your mercy. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Mercy of God three times. Let's go. Two. Three. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Whatever you have used your hand to do, that have kept you in one position, that is working against yourself, that bad thing you have done, did you frustrate the life of somebody? Did you lie on somebody's head? Did you collect what belongs to somebody? Did you frustrate somebody's effort? Did you kick somebody out of his progress? And you are calling God to scatter your enemy. That might be your own cause. Lord, deliver me today by your mercy. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Oh, yes, sir. Pray, oh, pray, pray, pray. Whatever I've done with my own hand that have put me in the position of hand. You feel not life for somebody here. You feel not, you feel not collect what belongs to somebody. And you are praying, Lord, fight my enemy. What else? You are the enemy of yourself. You might have cheated somebody, and nothing is holding you down. Oh, yes, sir. Have mercy on whom you have mercy on the Lord. Have mercy upon all. Let the mercy on the Lord from heaven come down. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Lord, have mercy upon me. Whatever I've done with my hand that is working against myself, Lord, deliver me today by your mercy. Lord, set me free by your mercy. The Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. Pray that prayer. Let the mercy of the Lord come down. Let your mercy, your mercy alone. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Let the mercies of the Lord from heaven. We need your mercy. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Uh huh. Three. For the last time. So shall it be. We are going to anoint our water now. Just get our water. I'm going to pray with the water. You know, sometimes you call for your enemy to go down, scatter. You don't know you too. You might use your hand to be tormenting yourself. The thing where you don't want somebody to do you and you don't do them. Maybe you don't kick somebody away from his blessing or her blessing. You lie on somebody. Sometimes you don't know the kind of person that person is. It will backfire now. And you'll be suffering it. Praise God. The Lord will give you testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray with our water. 
or mine is not the water that, that matters, but your faith in praying with the water, your faith in taking the water. It's another way of prophetic action here. And water is life. When you plant a seed without watering it or without rain, fall on it, it hardly germinates. But when there's a rainfall, when you put, when there's a rainfall, you see it begin to grow. Or if you make farm plantation, you wet it every time. Before one week, you begin to see that seed to germinate. Don't be so. Because there's a life that I've been giving to that seed. Praise the living Jesus. So have faith in Jesus Christ. Believe in him. I tell you, God will answer somebody's prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. When the pierced Christ by his side, what did come out from his body first? Is it not water? Water came out from Christ first. After they pierced him, the next one was the blood. Praise the living God. You are carrying the water of life. I tell you, no matter how tasty you are, if you take Coke or Fanta, you must still take water. Have you done so? This is water you are carrying. Have faith in Jesus Christ. I tell you, we work for you. And why the servants of God, we anoint your water. Don't sit down. That you know where should they pay you. Tell God, Lord, as they've anointed my water, deliver me from this area. Tell God what you want him to do for you through this water. From the front, line by line, please. God bless you. You've got times and seasons in your hands. Oh, you come for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. For you have chosen to call us your own. You've got time and seasons in your hands. Oh, Jesus. You call for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. For you have chosen to call us your own. You are God. You are God. From beginning to end. There's no place for argument. You are God of life. Pray, 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 pray. What do you want God to do for you? Mention that thing you want him to do for you. Mention that freedom you want him to do for you. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. You are God. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. You are God. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Oh, yes, sir. Open your mouth and pray. What is your expectation? What is your healing you want? Which area of healing, which area of deliverance you want? Mention it, mention it. Open your mouth and pray. 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 Jesus, you are God. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray. What is your expectation? Pray. Mention that area you want God to touch you. Through this water. What do you want him to do for you? What is your expectation this morning? As you are holding this water to pray. Mention it, mention it. You are God. From ages to ages, from Genesis to Revelation, open your mouth and pray that prayer. You are God all by yourself. You are God, the God that cannot fail, the God that can never change. Oh, yes, sir. You are God all by yourself. Pray, 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 pray. You are God, you answer prayer. You can never, never lie. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. God will answer your prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to pray, you will tell the Lord. Father, as I will apply this water today, from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, whatever sickness inside me, Lord, deliver me today through this water. 
Set me free today through this water. Are you ready to pray this prayer? Mercy of God, two times. Let's go. Two. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. You are living by the mercy of God. You are walking by the mercy of God. Thank the Lord this morning. Lord, as I will apply this water by your mercy, every infirmity, every sickness inside my body, tormenting my life, Lord, let your mercy heal me today. Let your mercy deliver me today. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray. Oh, yes, sir. Let the mercy of God speak for you this morning. Let the mercy of God take over you this morning. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Oh, mercy of God, speak for us this morning. From the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Mercy of God, come and heal us. Open your mouth and pray. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Anointing from above. Oh, yes, sir. Anointing from above. Pray, 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 pray. Anointing from above. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Let the mercy of God speak for you. Now keep quiet, someone. Whatever you are doing in life today, it's the mercy of God that is speaking for you. Pray with that same mercy of God. Lord, this morning, as I will take this water from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, let your mercy speak for me. Let your mercy speak for my body. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Pray someone, pray someone. Pray someone, pray someone. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Anointing of the Lord. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Pass me no by. Penetrate in my body. Pray, 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 pray. pray. Every yoke. Oh, yes. Sir. Cast the uncastable. Find the uncastable. Uh -huh. Out of my life. Pray that prayer. Anointing of the Let the mess of God speak for you. Pass me Let the mess of God speak for you. Anointing, anointing of the Lord. Yes, sir. Pass me no by, penetrate in my life. Jesus. Every uh -huh. cast your cast the oh, cast yes. Your mercy of God speak for us. Let the mercy of God heal us. Of the Lord. Me anointing of the Lord. Anointing from the Lord. Pray, 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 pray. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer, pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray, pray. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. The mercy of God will speak for you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to tell the Lord. And while praying this prayer, if somebody is a woman, you have a stomach pain. Going to 10 days now, 10 days. You have taken medication, it's not working for you. I don't know you, whether you're online too. But this morning, God said to me, now he God is going to heal you today. He said he's going to heal you, that that thing is a poison. You are going to pray, you don't know the poison where you chop. If it grows small, small. You are going to tell the Lord, Lord, by your mercy today, whatever poison I have eaten is in the dream or in physical, about to germinate or start to manifest. Father, today, by your mercy, take it away. By your mercy, deliver me. Mercy of God, three times, let's go. I can't hear somebody. For the last time, open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. Any poison inside your body, whether it's in your dream or physically, Lord, heal me by your mercy. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. This is the day of the last God is moving in this again. Pray, 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 pray. Let the mercy of God take away that poison. Any kind of poison in your body, causing pain in your womb, causing barrenness in your life. Oh yeah, tell the Lord to take it away. Tell the Lord to take it away. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, 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 pray. It's not my power. It's not my power. It's not my mind. It's not my mind. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. 
It's not my power. Open your mouth and pray. It is not my strength. Any poison of eating my drink. Tormenting me physically. That is not giving me peace or rest. Father, remove it today. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray, 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 pray. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray, pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray, 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 pray. Mountain of sickness must be removed. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Mountain of hardship must be removed today. Oh, yes, sir. Mountain of stagnation. Pray, oh, someone, pray, someone. Must be removed. Whatever infirmity in your stomach. Take it away. Let the mess of God heal you. Let the mess of God deliver you. From every stomach pain. Is it menstrual problem? Or you pray that prayer? Pray that prayer. Pray, 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 pray. pray. Open your mouth and pray. Or you pray that prayer? Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray. As a mouthpiece of God, whatever the infirmity in your body, today the mercy of God will set you free in the name of Jesus Christ. Any kind of poison inside you, working against you physically, tormenting your life medically, today, as you will take the water, the Lord will remove it in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to pray with the water, you will take God. As I will apply this water on my head, that is when you get to your house. Any cause, they have caused me from the day one I was born, a cause of stagnation, a cause of poverty, a cause of rise and fall, a cause of limitation, they have caused me the time I was born. Today, Lord, as this water will touch my head in my house, let that cause be removed from me. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Holy Ghost, fire once. Let's go. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. As we apply this water today, any curse upon my head, 
following me, tormenting me, following my family, my children. Lord, as this water will touch my today, Lord, remove it. Let that cost be removed. Let that cost be removed. Open your mouth and pray, 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 pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray, pray and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, remove that cost. Pray on someone, pray on someone. Pray, 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 pray. Lord, remove that cost. Every cost from my foundation. Tormenting my life. The cost of poverty. The cost of frustration. Today, let that cost be removed. Let that cost be removed. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Take away everything that is not. Open your mouth and pray and pray. You are the fountain of life. Pray, 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 pray. Thank God to remove that cost. A cost that says you cannot get married. A cost that says you cannot be married. A cost that says you cannot go forward. A cost that says you cannot be blessed. A cost that says you cannot receive favor. They cost you as you are born. They cost you as you are growing old. Tell the Lord, as I spring on this water today, let that cost be removed. Let that cost be removed. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray and pray. Let that cost be removed. Pray, 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 pray. Open your mouth and pray and pray. Let that cost be removed. Somebody, pray and pray. Oh, yes, sir. Pray. Many people are under a spell. Many are under a spell. Cost. And it's tormenting their life. But you are in an opportunity to do it. To be in the house of the Lord. To break that cost. To remove that cost even by yourself. Tell the Lord this morning. As I will sprinkle this water. Let the cost be removed from me. Mention that cost. You know that it's working against you. Mention that cost. You know they have cost you physically. They cost you physically. Mention it. They cost you at your back. They cost you spiritual. They say you cannot be blessed. They say when you get to this level, problem will begin. It's a cost. Thank the Lord. Remove it. Break it. Pray, 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 pray. Oh, yes, sir. We trust in it. No, don't let me be ashamed. But I don't let me be ashamed. Lord, break that cost. Break that cost. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. You are an opportunity to be here today. Let that cost be broken. Let that cost be removed. Oh, yes, sir. I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Oh, yes, sir. They cost you when you were born. They cost you at seven years. They cost you at ten years. They cost you physically. They cost you at your back. They cost you spiritually. They make you the of the cost. And say you cannot be blessed. And say you cannot be progressed. Tell the Lord today, you are in the house of God. As I will apply this water, let that cost be broken. Let that cost be removed from me. Cost of poverty. Cost of frustration. Cost of limitation. Cost of rise and fall. Cost of divorce. That cost of sickness. Oh yeah, today, Papa. Remove it today. Remove that cost. Pray, 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 pray. Open your mouth and pray and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Break that cost. Break that cost. Pray, 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 pray. They cost you when you were born. They cost you uh, at seven years. They cost you at ten years. They cost you at fifteen years. They cost you at twenty years. They say you cannot go beyond that level. They cost you without cabinets. 
Tell the Lord today. Father, remove it. Lord, remove it. As I will pray this one. Lord, remove it today. Let me not be afraid. Let all my enemies dry up. Unto the O Lord. Pray, 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 pray. Jesus Christ's name, we pray. I make this pronouncement. If they curse you before they burn you, there are some child inside the womb of the mother. They have cursed that child. There are some child, immediately they burn them and see their destiny, they will curse that destiny. Some, they curse them at the age of seven. Some, they curse them at the age of ten. Some, at the age of twenty. Some, they curse them and say, once you are 30, your problems start. I speak today in your life. As you apply the water in your house, any curse, they have caused you that is not favoring you. That curse is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Many are under the spell or curse of people. Some, they have caused you physically. Praise God. Person calls you physically, return and back. Bro. Return and back. Praise the Lord. Return and back. I don't want to say something. People like every time they talk of my own. Praise God. Anyone calls you, return and back. As long as you are not guilty. I pray for you this morning. Whatever cause in your life, I speak as a mouthpiece of God. That cause is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. The cause of poverty is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. The cause of sickness is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. The cause of rise and fall is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to pray with the water and thank God. Lord, as I will sprinkle this water in my house, every good thing that I've been taking away from me, Father, restore them back. Restore my blessing back. Restore my marriage back. Restore my health back. You know that thing you want God to restore for you. You will begin to mention it. I tell you when you pray this prayer, the Lord will answer your faith. We honor your faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, once let's go. I can't hear somebody. I can't hear somebody. For the last time, open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. Lord, as I will sprinkle with this one time, I ask, restore back every good thing I have lost. My blessing, my business, my marriage, my health. Lord, restore it back to me. Open your mouth and pray. Tell the Lord, today's restoration service. Lord, restore back my benefactor. Pray, 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 pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray, 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 pray. Lord, restore me back. Whatever I've lost, Father, let him restore back. Mention that thing you lost. Tell the Lord, as I will sprinkle this water in my house. Lord, restore me back. Restore my blessing. Restore my connection. Your business is dead. Tell the Lord, let there be restoration. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Oh, yes, sir. Pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. 
Oh, be a man that prayed that prayer. Lord, restore me back. Restore my blessing. Restore my glory. Restore back to me, my benefactor. Is it your job? You lost your job? Tell the Lord today, as I will apply this water, connect me back with a better job. You Hope your mother pray, 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 pray. Oh, yes, sir. You need no all that peace. Hope your mother pray, pray that prayer. And I die for me. Open your mouth and pray. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Mother, pray that prayer. I hope he's built on nothing less. Now, Jesus, Lord, and righteousness. They're not trust. Pray, 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 pray. For holy name, on Jesus' name. On Christ, I saw. Open your mother, pray that prayer. Open your mother, pray that prayer. Open your mother, pray that prayer. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer, someone. Pray that prayer. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. I pray for you this morning that every good thing you lost, the Lord will restore you back in the name of Jesus Christ. Your business that you lost, shall be restored back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Your helper that have gone away from you shall be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. We are going to pray this prayer now. Because when you get to your house also, I beg, sprinkle the water. And while you are sprinkling, also take this prayer we want to pray now. You will tell the Lord, as I will sprinkle this water in my house, any modern spirit inside my house, whether in form of cockroach, in form of war gecko, in any form that demon is inside my house monitoring me, Lord, as I sprinkle this water, let that monitoring gadget dry, die in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready to pray that prayer? Holy Ghost fire, four times, let's go. I can't hear somebody. I can't hear somebody. For the last time, open your mouth and pray that prayer. As I was sprinkling this water in my house, any agent, monitoring agent, in form of animal, inside my house, monitoring me to forsake my life. As I sprinkle this water, Lord, let it dry. Winner. Pray, 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 pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer.
In Jesus Christ's name we pray. I'll make this pronouncement. And I want to say something funny. And that's why I pray monitoring gadget. And I line out. On Saturday morning, as I get home, I didn't bother to call my people in the house. Maybe immediately after they full online, they will fall asleep. I have my own key to the gate, and I opened the gate and entered. As I drive down close to my own domot, Miller was getting there on my dish, and I saw this, uh, what I, oh, oh, they used to call it, oh. A very big one was standing there, I'm telling you live. Now, thinking it will run as I got there, it no run. I have to keep blowing on and before it flew away. I'm telling you, early morning, I pray for you this morning. Whatever agent they have sent to monitor you, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, as you will sprinkle the water, the Lord will wither their wings in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to your life this morning. Whatever cause upon you, they cause you before you were born, they cause you after you were born, they cause you as you are growing old. Today, because you are here today, that cause is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. That cause is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to your life today. Whatever sickness troubling you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, today, that sickness is withered away in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you this morning. You are here today as a restoration service. By the time you live here, the Lord will restore you back in the name of Jesus Christ. Every good thing you lost shall be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, Adura Mitigba. Somebody say, Adura Mitigba. Let the choir begin to give us sing. Let's appreciate God. Don't sit down. Father, whatever you do is so good. Father, whatever you do is so good. Let's press him. Let's press him. Father, whatever you do is so good. Father, whatever you do is so good. He's so good. He's so good. So good. Let's press him. Let's press him. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good. Let's appreciate. Let's be on our feet. Be on your feet. Let's appreciate him. Be on your feet. Your hands to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. For He has done it. He has answered all your prayers. Let's be on our feet if you don't mind. Let's appreciate Him this morning. Don't get tired of appreciating God. Whatever you do is so good. Whatever you do is so good. Jesus, everything you do is so good, so good. Whatever you do is so good. Let's appreciate Him. I appreciate him this morning.
Praise him this one. Father, whatever you do is so good. Father, whatever you do is so good. Ever living for healing the redeemer. Father, whatever you do is so good. Jesus, everything you do is so good. Father, whatever you do is so good. To us. It's so good to us. Let's praise it. Oh, yes, sir. Let's appreciate it. Oh, yes, sir. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Jesus, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my Lord. Jesus, I thank you, Lord. Jesus, I thank you, Lord. Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your goodness, Lord. For the king of kings. Oh, yes, sir. Aha. Praise him, somebody, this morning. for your healing. I appreciate him for your deliverance. I appreciate him. I appreciate him. Oh, yes, sir.
Lift up his name, lift up his name. Lift up the name of the Lord. Let's press it, let's press it. It's part of your deliverance. Jesus, I worship your name. You are praising Jesus Christ. He's healing somebody. As you are praising him. He's fighting your battle already. As you are praising him, he's settling your lose when they tell him. Praise him, praise him. Clapping for your maker. I appreciate God with your hand. 
I appreciate God with your hand. Clap the hand for Jesus. Clap the hand for Jesus Christ. Clap the hand for Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Clap the hand. Clap the hand. Time your hand together for Jesus. Oh, yes. I come for Jesus. I come for Jesus. I come for your maker. I come for the King of Kings. I prophesy into your life. I will receive it. Anything that brought you to this place, this program is that healing and deliverance program. Restoration. Somebody be in the spirit. Stand up on your feet. Stand up on and receive this prayer. Anything that brought you into this place today. Oh, yes, brother. That pain, that sickness, that adds pain, that trouble you are facing. Oh, yes. It ends in the name of Jesus Christ. Say amen. Oh, let your amen be louder. I prophesy it's your life. Prophesy. You have worshipped me. That water you will be using for today. That water will bring total deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Anything you are going through. Any disaster. God is saving somebody's husband. Eh? From a factory accident. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Pion. I prophesy. Prophesy. That thing I want to bring shame to you. It is in the name. There's a woman sitting here. If you know I call her. I speak into your life. The problem that will make you spend money this year. The problem that will make you spend money in the hospital this year. It is cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That problem. Projected by the enemies. That will make you spend money. That will frustrate you this year. Oh, yes. It is cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We let that woman go to the altar and she's dead. She's coming out. Huh? When I made this organization, this is the mind. I received a ministration in the spirit realm that God is saving your husband from a factory accident. Amen. Amen. Huh? Come to the altar. I was about working in the factory. Huh? Clap your hand for Jesus Christ. Fire on, brother. He said, I should look at that. Huh? He said, he's saving your husband. A factory accident. Amen. Huh? Accident that will affect his hand. Huh? Yes. Carry on. He said, he's saving him from that accident. Amen. Blood of the enemy. That this week, that's that machine that to work in, right? That there will be issues in that machine and affect his hand. Uh, but because you are in this place, the Spirit of God should tell you that he has not it. Amen. Amen. You will look. Thank you, Jesus. I am. Huh? As he's escaping this accident, God is promoting it. Amen. Amen. This has been his prayer point. Yes. Eh? yes. He has served those places for years. Yes. And yet, no promotion. Yes. Eh? That's true. Yes. Eh? yes. Am I saying something to you? Yes. He said, when you get done today, go and congratulate him. Okay. Eh? For God has given him that promotion he has been seeking for. Amen. And that accident, that thing that we cut off his hand in that factory, it has been nullified. Amen. Church, huh? church, let's be on our feet and take this prayer point. I believe in the spirit because that was the last I wanted to give before. Let's be on our feet. You are going to pray, Lord. Whatever accident that will come my way this week, 
or affect any of my family to bring sorrow. I cancel it by fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. Cancel every kind of accident. Accident, not accident. You can fall down, not accident. You can kick stone. Something may fall on you. It's an accident. Cancel it on behalf of your loved ones. Any kind of accident that will bring pain in my life. Pain in your family. Cancel it today. Cancel it today. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Cancel it. Cancel that accident. Out of your way. Out of your family. Cancel it out of your children. Cancel that accident from your siblings. Pray that prayer. Not be your hand. It's not going to happen to you. At me, man. Eh? The hand of the Lord has just broken a bondage. Eh? A bondage that causes frustration. Amen. Eh? Is that your husband? He's tired. That's true. Eh? He's tired. Listen to me. Oh. In his mind, he won't go on and leave it in because he's tired of the situation. Mm. But there's a good news. Say eh? it. There's a good news to him. Say when it. you go home today, you will congratulate him. Amen. God has just delivered your husband. Amen. First, God saved him from that Thank you, Jesus. in his working place, in that factory. Secondly, the hand of the Lord is promoting him. Amen. Thank eh? you, God. Just to wipe away your tears. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you. And not free. Eh? Drop at the altar. When you go, get Let's home, congratulate your husband. Clap Somebody your hand. prophesy. Be on our feet to receive it. Receive it. Already. Receive that prophecy. Thank prophecy you. for one is prophecy for all. You are going to take this prayer. Just one prayer for me. Prayer. The something I'm seeing in the spirit train. Eh? Please, sir, come out. Yes, sir. Yes, come. You will tell the Lord. Anything that comes to my dream. And give me what I don't want. Oh, and yes. physically, it appears and causes damage to my body. That's true. Father, scatter it this moment. Are you ready to pray? pray Lord Jesus pray. Christ, what shall we go? Lord Jesus Christ. Every evil dream. Father, scatter it. Scatter. Father, scatter it. Open your mother, begin to pray. Open your mother, begin to pray. Open your mother, begin to pray. Open your begin to pray. Every bad dream. Pray, 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 pray. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, someone. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray, 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 pray. Pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Pray that prayer, someone. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer. Lord, scatter on it. Pray that prayer, someone. Pray, 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 pray. pray. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Pray, oh, someone. Pray, 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 pray. Pray that prayer. Every part of your prayer. Let the Lord scatter. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As I made that prayer, a chain broke from your leg. Amen. Oh, yes. I was looking at you. Eh? A big chain just cut up from your leg. Mm, praise Amen. the Lord. Eh? This chain has been on. You were, if you try to move forward, this thing will draw back. Eh? 
Written things start working well. Before you know, the thing will scatter. It's true. It's true. Look at me very well. You were standing at that place. A chain just scattered. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Your child, your daughter. Your daughter. Yes. Eh? Your daughter. Used to have this attack at night. Eh? Your small daughter. Yes, she's here. Eh? She's here. Bring her out. Yeah, Clap your hand for Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. It's a protocol breaker. There is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing you cannot do. I have tasted of your love. Oh, yes, now. I have seen your mighty war. Uh -huh. Mighty move on my love. Oh, your mighty people. Your small daughter used to have a time. That time is crying in the night. Yes, you, you, do, you do cry in the night. Cry. When she sees me, she will just start crying. They come to her dream to press her in the dream. That's why this attack used to come. Eh? Because you are in this place. Please, you are going to lie at the altar. Listen to me, ma. You will lie at the altar, pick her up. Eh? A great deliverance is coming upon this young girl. A great deliverance. Amen. That young girl, she sees from us. From that little age, God wants to make use of her. Amen. That is why you are seeing that attack in her life. But listen to me, sir. Bless her at the altar and pick her up again. Listen to me, sir. That chain in your leg, you were standing there, you came with chain. The angels of the Lord just scattered that chain. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Eh? It's a chain that has been injuring your, your blessings. Yes. That chain has been injuring your blessings. That angel has scattered it. Thank right? you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Listen to me. A testimony is coming your way. Amen. Amen. Clap your hand right? for Jesus Amen. Christ for that testimony coming on its way. Somebody shout, Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody shout, Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please give him the mic. My eyes was open in the spirit way. I, I saw. When I mentioned dream, eh, I saw an attack in your dream. Yes, eh? yes. In your dream. Yes. An attack. Listen to me. You used to have. Agame buni genu, buni genu, agame buni genu, ibese, ibese. Secondly. Like dogs. Right? Yes. Am I saying something? Yes, last like week. Like dogs. Dogs, yeah, last like, week. Last week. I saw. Like dogs used to attack you in your dream. Listen. Eh? It's a spirit of witchcraft. A name appeared in the vision. And these dogs are in charge to eat up a name in the paper. I've never seen where dogs eat paper. Mm. But they were eating this name in that paper. Wow. They say they want to frustrate Emmanuel. Yes, that was my name. Clap your hand for Jesus Christ. They were eating this name. I was looking at them. But as they were eating the name, the angel of the Lord appeared and killed that dog. Amen. Amen. Eh? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Who yes. Who is greater than Jehovah, Lord divine? There is no one greater than Jehovah, Lord divine. Greater than the over Lord divine, oh, there is no one greater than the over Lord, Lord divine. Yes. Yes. Amen. What I just told you it has, it is happening. Yes. Right? Yes. Brother, your name is Manuel. Go. That is God with us. What Fire, brother. What I put in your ears now, it is happening now. Yes. Right? Yes. But the angels of the Lord are just now defined it. Amen. Listen to me. Eh? In this order, you will stand here to testify. Amen. Amen. Eh? Amen. Yes. Am I saying something to you? Yes, sir. Because that dog has been tormenting you. Yes, sir. But the hand of the Lord just killed that dog. Amen. Somebody, anybody tormenting your life? Eh? Anybody tormenting you? Anybody frustrating you? Pray that prayer. Hope your mother begin to pray. What any animal, any animal. What do you want God to do? 
any animal in your dream or physical in your dream or physical let the Lord silence them any dog in your dream what is a bed in your dream what is a rat in your dream a cat in your dream that is tormenting you if you in one condition what do you want God to do to that? Pray that prayer. Pray, let that strong man in form of animal. Let their power be submitted. Let their power be submitted. Whether it's your compound, in your place of work, in your place of business, in where you are born, that animal in your dream tormenting you. Now, anytime you see it, it will frustrate you. Deliverance is deliverance. So, we are here to pray. Pray the prayer. Pray the prayer. Pray the prayer. Pray the Oh, yes, sir. my brother Emmanuel, right? In addition to what he, he told you now, and it's what God said to me, he said you two trust people. Eh? Uh -huh. He said you two trust people. That's where I receive it. And you trust, you trust somebody. Whenever they want to give you something, this person you trust is aware of what they want to give you. They will block it. Yes, sir. You are eh? right. You are right, sir. That is part of what makes you, not because of the way you are, that is what is one of the bold problems you are carrying. Okay, the person you trust, say, this person is your friend. You trust him. And now, I am going for a job tomorrow. Ah, my friend, I am going for a job tomorrow. Before you know it, they will spoil that thing for you. And when you get there, the thing don't scatter. And you know it. Yes, sir. But today, God is delivering you. Amen. Fire, oh man of God. Somebody, I prophesy. Anybody that is close to you walking against your life, somebody shall fire. Somebody close to you, related to you, walking against your life, that person will be exposed and disgraced in the name of Jesus Christ. This thing has been long for all. For long. There's no member of the family will build a house. Eh? Talk to the mic. And that is why all of them are sitting in a papa place. Eh? Yeah, it's true. They are sitting about the house of father's building. In the yes. place. That's where all of them are. But the Spirit of the Lord should tell you. He said he will use you to break protocol in your family. Amen. You hear me very well? Yes, sir. He said he's going to use you to break protocols in your family. Eh? Yes, sir. Your first time? No. Second? No. Please.
You have to testify at this altar. Right? Yes, sir. This thing I'm seeing is going to come to pass. Amen. That chain broken from your legs. Amen. Amen. And the Spirit of God has to tell you that it is settled. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Clap your hand for Jesus Christ. For that deliverance. For that you open door. Do you drop that baby at the altar? Huh? Do you drop that baby? Yes, sir. This baby will not receive that attack again. Amen. Huh? Amen. This baby will not receive that attack again. Amen. 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 Do you know what I'm telling you? Huh? Yes. God has just delivered your family. Amen. God has just delivered both you and your husband. Amen. Through this just baby. Amen. Somebody I prophesy. Prophesy. Receive it. Receive it. Be on your feet to receive it. Receive because that prophecy. In this place. Oh, yes. Deliverance will hit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whether you say amen or not, as long as you are in this auditorium, Hallelujah. Deliverance will hit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Listen to me, sir. That spirit of frustration. Eh? Yes, sir. The spirit of the Lord just chase it away from you. Amen. Amen. Eh? Clap your hand for Jesus Christ. It's Amen. free today. Oh, yes. Can I tell you something so that you confirm? Okay. Say, brother. Okay. If not correct, shake your head. Yes, no yes, more shake your head. Like if not, no, no to shake your head. Yes. Oh, oh, yes, I appreciate God. God. There's going to be a change of story. Amen. Amen. Somebody in your life, there's going to be a change of story. Receive it, receive it. In your life, receive there's going it. to be a change of story. Amen. In your life, God is going to take you from nothing. Be on your feet to receive it. Amen. Be on your feet, receive it, prophecy. Receive it. Oh, yes, sir. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your case is settled, sir. Amen, sir. Your case is set to brother. Listen, this is what you have been praying for. The Spirit of God, I shall tell you. That your case is settled. Amen. Glory be to God. Yes. Huh? Yes, I'm gonna clap your hand for Jesus Christ. Why? Huh? Huh? As the wife is holding that baby, you look as if she was holding twin. Another baby is still in her hand. Huh? Like a baby boy. Huh? Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? You, get, you get twins, Abi, they expect twins. The baby boy was just handed over to your wife. Huh? Yes, sir. Talk to the mic. That is confirming the dream I had this morning. You had okay, a dream this morning. Yes. Clap your hand for Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Is a, he wants a baby boy. Oh, it's only my wife. You told your wife the dream. Yes. A baby boy has just been handed over to her. Receive your you own baby boy. Auntie, boy. brother. You are believing God for a boy, a male child. With a confirmation eh? yes, of what God has just done in your life. Mm. The case is set. Thank you, God Lord. Listen. Oh, yes. Eh? Listen to me, sir. God has just taken away that spirit of frustration for you. Amen. Me. That dog, those dogs you used to see in your dream. Yes. That dog was eating, a name was placed on the paper, was eating that name. Eh? To frustrate you. Witchcraft spirit. Yes. Eh? Yes. That spirit has just been killed. Final, Amen. Final. Eh? Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Amen. Hope you will testify. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, but sir. the Lord, the hand of the Lord has just settled your matter. Amen. God bless you. So Clap your hand for start. Jesus Christ. Appreciate your maker. Because you are in this place. Receive it. Last Tuesday in the month of March. Your gift is settled in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the court of law, it's what they call discharge and acquitted. I prophesy. Receive it. Anywhere your case has been taken to, that case is nullified, discharged, and acquitted. In the name of Jesus Christ. Church, God bless you. Put your hands together for Jesus. God bless you. Carry your water and sit down with it.
take your water and sit down with it. Let's go to the water ministration. What we mean is let's go to healing and deliverance. Let's go to restoration. Hallelujah. John chapter 11. The first four verses there in John chapter 11. Let me read it. Now a certain man was sick named Lazarus of Bethany. The town of Mary and her sister Martha. It was that Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore his sisters sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, him whom thou lovest is sick. Does Jesus love you? Does he love you? Does he love you? Somebody here who Jesus loves may be sick. Your business may be sick. Your finance may be sick. You may be having physical element. Therefore, his, el his sisters sent out to him saying, Lord, behold, him whom thou lovest is sick. When Jesus heard that, what did he say? This sickness is not unto death. Somebody, your sickness is not unto death. My sickness is not unto death. Somebody say it. That problem is, will not kill you. God allowed it to happen. It is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby, so that when you go out and tell them, Jesus is my Lord, you will prove it. That's why sometimes he allows some of these things to happen to us. Martha was uh, 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 the sister of Lazarus, who was so confused. Somebody you love, two days after he heard the news, two days he still had not come. I don't know how long your own has been. Amen. He even extended until it was four days. So he's already rotting now. But when they were saying it's too late, Jesus, somebody tell your neighbor it's not too late. No, tell two people around you with Jesus, it's never late. I say it is never late. It's never late. It's never late. Never, never late. Hallelujah. He told her, have I not told you I am the resurrection and the life? Amen. Please read it from verse 11 for me. From verse 11. This, this thing said he, and after that he said unto them, our friend Lazarus sleepeth. He is sleeping. Amen. But I go that I, I may awake him out of sleep. Somebody, get ready to wake up from your situation. Today, today, today. Uh -huh. Then said his disciples, Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. Howbeit, Jesus spake of his death. But they thought that he had spoken of taking of rest and sleep. Uh -huh. Then said Jesus unto them plainly, Lazarus he is dead. Died. Yes, he is dead. And I am glad for your sakes that I was not there. To the intent ye may believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. So that you will believe to know who Jesus is. Somebody get ready. Because Jesus is going to confirm to you who he is through your testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that is going to take place here today. Why are we using the water? I've explained it here several times. This is a prophetic ministry. Amen. And the prophetic ministry is a spiritual ministry. So we, we go into things spiritually. And a lot of Christians who just worship God in the letter. will not go into the spirit of the letter. They are the ones that make Christians look very miserable. 
When the Bible says, though we walk in the flesh. Hallelujah. We are, our warfare is not after the flesh. We, we, our warfare is not carnal fight. It's a spiritual battle. It's a spiritual battle. That's the reason why we have every year family deliverance program. I saw one of these uh, critics of my ministry who worship God in the letter, who know nothing about the things of the spirit, criticizing me. Where do you see, where do you see uh, 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 healing uh, 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 with water in the Bible? In the New Testament. They won't, they won't say in the Bible. They say New Testament because they know I will tell them that Elijah told the man to go inside the water. And his leprosy disappeared. Amen. And so, they'll say, okay, okay, in the New Testament, where did you see the disciples praying with water? But I've seen the disciples pray with handkerchief. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Listen. There are many people connected online now. Listen. In spiritual warfare, they say we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against what? Principalities and power. Can we read it? Ephesians chapter 6, I think verse 12 or so. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Uh -huh. But against principalities. Principalities. Against powers. Powers. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Uh -huh. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. I saw a video clip that some fraternity, fraternity, on the eve of Lagos State Government, uh, uh, gubernatorial election in Lagos, they brought a goat. Invocation, incantation, they all dressed the members of that fraternity, that is their religion, in white. Came openly, it was not even done in the night. Openly in a, an open place, residential area. Invocation, invocation, and they brought uh, a, a, a black goat. And they slaughtered it over an altar that was created there with all manner of things there, and they were declaring that this state will be for their party. They mentioned the name of the party. Amen. Okay. Oh. And their party won. <laughs> Hallelujah. See, in military warfare, I've explained this several times so that you understand when Apostle Paul said, pray without ceasing. Once you become a Christian, you have entered a battlefield if you're a true Christian. If Satan stops fighting you, it is because he has gotten you. Every true Christian from the days of John the Baptist until now, Jesus said it, the kingdom of heaven suffered violent. John the Baptist lost his life, the cut of his head, because of the gospel. Go and see how the apostles died. Go and see. What do you see in Revelation chapter 20, verse 4? Among those who are ruling, coming to rule in the, in the millennium. And I saw thrones, uh -huh. and they sat upon them. Uh -huh. And judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded. They were what? Beheaded. They were what? The of Jesus. Beheaded. They were beheaded for preaching gospel of Jesus Christ. So it's not only John the Baptist. He said, they were souls. They were souls. It's more than one. They were beheaded. The kingdom of heaven suffered violent. And if Satan cannot kill you, then he will make your life miserable. 
When you see Satan decide nothing will work for you, nothing you do, nothing, nothing, he has found out that he can kill you. Therefore, you will not have joy. Let me tell you, amen. One of the reasons for organizing the family deliverance, I have told you, I say, when God wants to bless a family, a whole family, he only chooses one. When he blesses one member of that family, it's expected that the rest of the family will be blessed through that blessing. It's true. Amen. Because I understand uh, the general that died uh, two days ago, the junior brother, siblings, said that he trained himself. And after the man trained himself by himself, they lost their father when they were small. So he, 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 he was the one that now uh, got to where he was and then he trained every member of the family and brought them on. They are all big men, lawyers and everything. So, and so also, if God has given you salvation through Christ and equipped, me, equipped you with the Holy Ghost fire, then that fire must deliver your family also. Now, salvation is different. Salvation is different. Salvation is of the Lord. And he knows who, how he does it. I cannot, because I'm saved, therefore my son will be saved. Salvation is not a hereditary blessing. My son will not go to heaven because I'm going to heaven. He will go to heaven because he believes. If he chooses not to believe, he will not go because I am a pastor. And so, no member of your family will go to heaven because of you. But of course, you will give them the gospel. And some may believe because of you. But what we are doing in family deliverance is that they are our loved ones. We love them. So their peace will affect us. It's true. If they are happy, we are happy. If they are sad, we are sad. If they are crying, we are crying. If they are rejoicing, we enjoy them and, and we are be and then dance with them. And so we can stand and stop an evil trend in the family. Because that's what we shall face in this family deliverance program evil trend for your sake your own believing brothers and sisters even if they are drunk as now the thing they did to tie all your father's children you can break it and they will all be free I don't know how many people believe it you don't, you're not responding you don't believe it how will I say for you to believe it okay okay you will believe it bring their names after this family deliverance program you will not believe what I'm telling you I have confirmed it I've confirmed they I come from a family, they are Muslims. Amen. I was just sitting down in my office for over, maybe two months ago or so. I spoke to my senior sister last. I was sitting down in my office, I just had her name. I said, uh, why am I hearing her name? I picked phone, I called her. I said, how are you? I hope you are fine. And she said, ah, you are really spiritual law, see what I am going through, see what I'm going through. Because one that, she reminded me something that happened years ago, that I sent Prophet Sunday to go there and pray. Prophet Sunday and somebody, I think. She was reminding me something that needed a surgery. She would have died. And she told me now, now she knows she cannot die because that thing didn't kill her. God saved her. Amen. God honored my faith. And now, and I told her, if God reveal your case to me, it is settled. Praise the Lord. So you can stand in the gap for your family. Because some legalistic Christians will say, they are not born again. So God cannot, they cannot, cannot. Uh -uh, uh -uh. We are talking about mercy. There is protection that you were receiving when you were not a Christian. Look back. There are things that happened. Accident took place. Everybody died. Amen. You were the only one that was alive. 
And you know how bad you are. Pray, you know they pray. Now, in fact, you were in the nightclub yesterday. Why did you not? It's the mercy of God. But after some time, you found him. And so when we talk about spiritual warfare, the only way you can be effective, listen, we are armed with authority. We have authority. This sign shall follow them that believe. We have authority. In my name, they shall cast out devils. That is authority. We have authority. But you have to identify the demon. Identify what you will lose your people from. You have to identify it. In every battle, every battle. Amen. The infantry soldier, they have a unit called the Reiki Platoon. What they do is the intelligence arm of the army. Of the, uh, they go secretly and find out which weapon the enemy has. Through where will we go? Through where will we attack them? Then they come and give reports. This is spiritual battle. We fight them spiritually. The reason is, the weapon of our warfare, they are mighty through God. The Reiki platoon, the commander of the Reiki platoon of Israel, one time was Elisha. When the Syrian army are planning how they will come and attack Israel, they are about to plan, God will come and tell the prophet. And Elisha will go to the king. See, they are planning this how they will come, this how they will come. Then Elisha, the king of Israel, will now plan how they will ambush them and take them by surprise. It was happening until the king of Israel said, among us here, there's somebody that normally gives information that make this Israel people to be defeating us. Praise the Lord. That is why we have the prophetic office. That is the ministry of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Listen. See. You will see a prophet. He says, see trap that they set for you. Then you will say, follow me. He says, jump. You will jump. It's a prophetic action. That is the warfare. That is how you escape. As you jump, you are jumping over a trap. In the spirit. There are people that what is wrong with their family is incantation and invocation with some blood of some animal. They used to tie something, lock a key, lock a padlock. A lock, a padlock. And the progress of that family remains locked as long as that padlock remains like that. Brethren, the Holy Ghost by inspiration will tell us, and we will say in a program that I will say, bring padlock. If you open it here, that padlock will be open there. Spiritual battle. Where do you see that in the Bible? My answer to you is, you don't even know ABC, correct water baptism, you don't even know. Is it algebra you will know? Amen. We say what we know. Hallelujah. And the fact that it is done out there by unbelievers, just know that they are only copying what the Holy Ghost also does. But we have higher power than them. For the thief coming of it to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Hanging on the cross on Calvary there, the transaction was done. The price for our redemption was fully paid with his blood. With that same blood, he entered a covenant with us. Hallelujah. And he gave us the Holy Ghost. The empowerment. You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost 
has come upon you. Therefore, death and life is in your mouth. Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Therefore, pray without ceasing and despise not prophesies. First Thessalonians 5 says so. Don't despise it. Amen. And whatever he tells you to do, do it. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. Hallelujah. Uh, a, a, a prophet, a, a brother was here during the weekend, frustrated, frustrated in his business. And as he came, a prophet just, you know, and he was all passing now. Sydney was the one that saw him. Was it Sydney? Eh? Yes, sir. He was waiting in my reception. The man was passing. He said, ah, come. What am I seeing as he's following you? See what the enemy had discerned exactly what he was going through. What was the solution? Amen. What they did there, they packed the sand of your business. They packed the sand of your business and went and did some invocation incantation. Nothing will happen. He said, this is thus said the Lord. Pack sand where you are worshipping here. Also, where angels have been stepping around and worshipping. Go and sprinkle it also there. It will reverse what they have done. Simple. You say that is occultic. Now you know that one. Amen. It simply means you don't know what that our God is a mighty one in battle. Somebody, whatever battle you are facing, we end it today. For those of you listening to me for the first time, when Jesus Christ died on the cross on Calvary, hallelujah, he paid the price for our redemption and he said, it is finished. For God so loved the world, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, but for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Where did he give him? On the cross on Calvary. That whosoever believe, believe what? Believe that he has set us free. Do you believe? He said, go and preach the gospel. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. So, Jesus put a prophetic action there that will connect you to what he did on the cross on Calvary. He died. He was buried. On the third day, he resurrected. He said, go and baptize. He that believeth and is baptized. Eh? Brother, have you been baptized? Eh? Yes. Where were you baptized? Catholic. He baptized you in Catholic. Ah, stand up, no sleep. I beg. Here we turn at the talk. Eh? Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. ah. To say now nah, here you baptize, I was saying continue to sleep. Uh, but, but no sleep, no sleep. Ah, uh, uh, no sleep, oh, no sleep, uh, because you are not free yet. Eh? There is a wrong baptism and there's a correct baptism. If, so that we will not be free, he teaches us a wrong baptism. He sent his false teachers to teach the people. So that if you say I believe, I believe, then he will wait it because he knows he knows the principle better than us, Satan. So no sleep, you hear? So that you can... Because that one you did in Catholic, that is Catholic baptism. Not Christian baptism. There is Christian baptism. There is Catholic baptism. There is redeemed baptism. There is Assemblies of God baptism. There is Seller baptism. Eh? Which one again? Even there is Olumba Olumba baptism. Which baptism again? There is deeper life baptism. But there is the Christian baptism. It is the Christian one I'm talking about. I'm not fighting your own, no. If you go to their church, they will preach their kind of baptism for you. But when you come here, we are a restored ministry. It is in the Bible that baptism 
is done in the name, one name of the Father. It is the same name of the Son. It is the same name of the Holy Ghost. And that is the name you see everywhere baptized. What is that name, somebody? Every baptism was done in the name of Jesus. Because that name, Jesus, is the name of our Father. It's the name of the Son. The name of the Father, he gave it to his Son. Because God was in his son, Jesus, reconciling the world to himself. So he placed his name there. So the name that the son was bearing is the name of the Holy Ghost, is the name of the Father. And the Father of the Son is the Holy Ghost, according to the Bible. That is why those who received that commandment, Peter and all the rest, they all baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. If they take you inside the water and put you inside the water, and thank you, Father. They put you inside the water and say, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, according to Matthew 28, verse 19, put you and come. And they have not called the name yet. They are not baptizing you by revelation. And any time you find you are in error, the day God opens your eye, to see the truth, go and correct it. Anything you are doing that is bad, the day you get to know, if you are sincere, if you are sincere, just correct it. Many people baptize from, they had our teaching on the television, they fly even from abroad, they came here. Eh? Brother Terry, you are from, from Germany. Were you, have you been baptized? Eh? I'm not hearing you. Uh, yes, sir. I've been baptized here. Where? Where? Yes, sir. Here. Here in Lagos, yeah. Yes, sir. Not in Germany. No, sir. You baptized before you went to Germany. I came to baptize. You came from Germany? Yes, sir. To be baptized here. Not this, not this time. I was here before. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Yes, sir. You have come here before. Yes, sir. To be baptized. Yes, sir. After I baptized, you went back to Germany. Yes, sir. How did you know about us? Uh, uh from online, sir. You were you saw us on, 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 on online. Yes, sir. Amen. These are people who want to go to heaven. Before then, you have never been baptized before? Yes, I was baptized before. Where? In the... Um, How were you baptized? If you know one called the name of the church. Same, same way, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, sir. Where? In um, Benin. Elder David? No. Where? Who? I don't remember the church name again. Why did you rebaptize then here? Because I was not fully repentant. Then. Okay, did he repent? Yes. yes. Wrong baptism starts from there. If you did not repent before you enter water, you, you only went to swim. You, you enter there a wet sinner, a dry sinner, and come out a wet sinner and dry your cloth and continue. It has no relevance to the cross. Amen. So if, if you are baptized in this church, you because... One evangelist, because some, ev some of evangelists will tell you, if you go and baptize, your problem will go. Who, who will not go? Who, I will go and baptize, let my problem to go. Baptism is not for problem to go. Baptism is to be connected to what he did on the cross on Calvary. So that you can benefit from it. And it includes that healing and deliverance. But that's not the reason we go. Praise the Lord. And so, sit down, sir. And so, as if you as 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 he hung on the cross, the Bible says that a soldier pierced his side. Amen. Just like Jesus Christ said, "Go and baptize." Once you come out of that water, you get connected to what he did on the cross on Calvary two thousand years ago. Every sin you have ever committed is. Remitted, for that is the purpose of going to the cross. That you are justified. Then you now stand position for God to do the work of transformation in you. You are not yet born again, no. You have only come to Jesus. Come to me, all ye that labor and heavy laden. It's not to come to the altar and repeat after any pastor or say after me, eh, eh. You are coming to him. He is hanging on the cross and telling you, come to me. And the way you meet him at the cross is through water baptism. 
makes you spiritually, you stand before him on the cross. Then the benefit of the cross begin to flow. Two things came out of his side, blood and water. The songwriter say it is a double cure. One was the price for redemption, which is the blood. And the water is for restoration. Abundant life. He came and gave us abundant life. When we were we sat down, he buffeted us. Destroyed all that pertained to our lives. And when he paid the price of redemption, he brought us out. We were in very, very horrible situation. And to restore us, he brought his water. Both the water of the world that will wash us and the water of restoration. The restoration power. And so when I say pick this water, we are going to the cross now. Can we stand up with our water? It's a prophetic action. Rock of ages. For me. Let me hide myself in you. Let the water, water and the blood. From thy womb, that side which flow, be of sea, be of sea, the double cure, save from rot, save from rot. and make me Are we ready to go to the cross now? That's exactly what we are doing. It's a spiritual thing. Are we ready to go to the cross now? He says, all the way to Calvary, he went for me, Jesus went. Oh, he went for me, he went for me. All the way, all the way to Calvary, he went for me. Oh, he died to save. Let him hear you say very loud, very loud. Hallelujah. All the way, say it, say it. He went for me. He went for me. He went for me. On the way, on the way to Calvary. Oh, that water very well. That is a song of a believer. Paid all our dues. <laughs> Sprinkle the soul with the blood of the Lamb. Every problem will pass over you. It is not say the Lord. When I see the blood. When I see the blood, when I, when I see the blood, I will pass, I will pass, I will pass. Chiefest of sinners, Jesus will save. Any situation you are in now, he will save you, he will save you. All that he has promised, he will do it. Oh, yes. Pass over you. Every problem we pass back to sender. Oh yes. When I see the blood.
hearts now. Say it again. That will be somebody's testimony. Martin, if your water has not been anointed, you are here with your water, it has not been anointed, come forward and let your water be anointed. If your water has not been anointed, come with your water here, come with your water. You came late, your water has not been anointed, come to the altar. Okay, one more time, he lifted the poor. That is who our God is. He changes situations. He makes a way where there is no way. He's the lifter up of my soul. Connect this water to any cage that has caged somebody's life to that grave they concluded your matter. Wherever they tie your spirit, they put you there. We have seen it during deliverance. I connect this prophetically for somebody's deliverance. The angels for deliverance Go to that container. Standing there now. That evil pot. Evil pot. We are by invocation and incantation. They kept you there. This is a restoration service. I connect this container to that evil place. They cage you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, Lord. So the Lord Jesus Christ went to the grave of Lazarus. His life was concluded and buried. But he commanded them to roll away the stone. Are you ready now? Hold the cap of that bottle. Get ready to open it at my instruction. Hold it with the other hand. Just one, 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 one bottle. Just one bottle. Wherever. My Father, my God. Let us know that your presence is here through our testimonies after today in the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody be in the spirit. We come by the grace that he has given us. This is a deliverance ministry. Nobody gets connected to us by accident. It's the last bus stop to that nonsense that has been disturbing somebody. Thank you, Father. Are you ready for that cage now to be open? When I say, let, it was Jesus Christ, listen. It was Jesus Christ that ordered them to open it. So when I say, let that cage be open in the name of Jesus, you just open and command every aspect of your life that has been caged to come out. Because he shouted, Lazarus, come out. You will shout your name. Eh? Shout your name and say, get ready for deliverance. Say, Moses, I look, get ready for deliverance. Every problem that is here is for the glory of God. The name of the Lord shall be glorified through your testimony today. Are we ready? Everybody participate. Everybody. Participate, oh. Participate, oh. Where is Chica? 
participate, oh, maybe that's why you never marry up to now. Participate, oh. maybe your wedding ring is inside one bottle somewhere. Every single brother. Maybe that market that you have, they invoke it and put it somewhere. Say, lie, lie. They go see your market like this. They go pass them, go another place. Pass them, go again. And with the one that waiting happen, they don't see them. Because it's in a cage somewhere spiritually. Principalities and powers. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Because one sister came from Togo one time. She they sell back. Is she here today? She don't come. She don't come again because she don't get her deliverance. She's still in Togo. Eh? Somebody don't arrive from Germ Germany. Who tell you come? Eh? I mean, you, I hope that you are this. No be vision. Eh? Now you. Three weeks. I know you travel for a long time. Ah. If you tell me now, say you don't come. I'm waiting for your testimony. There must be testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I will, when I see people like that, I get excited. Listen, I am sure that this Jesus we serve is real. I have confirmed it. The only problem we have is if we will understand what happened on the cross on Calvary and believe it. For those who believe it, all around the world, you are joining this program now. Every Tuesday we are here. We are not here for any other reason. We are here to confirm, for the name of the Lord to be glorified. Because this is a restoration ministry. Our Jesus is a restoration God. Our time is going. Let me not waste time because... Is it next week? Our family deliverance. It's next week from Thursday. Eh? But we'll see here next Tuesday. Now. Yes, uh -huh. The whole of next week is deliverance week. Depending on how serious your case is, I will advise you fast. We know they put fast in compulsory. Because as they think, what do you reach? Now you go fast. This is fasting by commandment. You know they work as fasting by faith. Now you know now, there are some dreams when you have like this, nobody to tell you, say fast too. Okay. Yeah, but if you don't believe, you go tell, fast a little bit, see, see what I say, ah, take fast in three days. You can say, hey, you, you know, pray, make I fast. But when it is a fasting declared by you, the result is always sure. Because it goes, hallelujah. Because there was one family deliverance that we once had here. And when I stood here, and the Lord ministered to me that a small girl, young girl, was doing three days dry fasting, no food, no water, for, the, for her family situation to change. The girl came out. And today, hallelujah, the situation, condition has changed. Yes, now. Praise the Lord. The situation, I tell because all God needs to do is to just to pick her, pick, pick her, only her, from a very, 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 very poor background. And I saw the picture of where the parents were living. I said, human being. But she cried, opportunity, family deliverance, Lord, deliver my family. And as she came out, the voice of the Lord said, take care of her. Somebody, your benefactor, after today, you will meet that person. Your destiny helper, after today, hallelujah, you will meet that person. Praise God. Just, just one person, just decided, nobody told her to fast. She decided, Lord, change my situation, this family deliverance. Change my situation, this family deliverance. And that she has been attending the best schools until now, her final year now. In a university, in a private school, private university, one of the best universities. It's true. Hallelujah. And doors of favor are just opening. Just, doors of favor are just opening. Just, doors of favor. That's the truth. Last year she was in America. 
This year again, I think she will soon be going again. Yes, now. Praise the Lord. Not be me, send and go. Now, destiny, send and go. Somebody here, God will intervene in your family. Because, not be me, because she went last year, she said, Daddy, Daddy, they call me again. They want to call me if I'd be interested to come back to America again this year. Daddy, should I go? Favor. 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 Praise the Lord. Just from family deliverance, because she fasted. The spirit she came here with, God honored it. That's what I'm telling you. I know that God, during family deliverance, fought a man in a family. He gave the testimony that determined that somebody's father will not, and the whole family will not stay over a roof. He finished them. And I stood here and I told the Lord to mention the name of the person that is tormenting anybody's family. He had a name in his ears. I said, while we are standing, keep quiet. Listen, listen. The Lord will tell you now. Somebody here. And God told so many people, they were hearing voice, the name of the person. And he said, ah, who remember that testimony? Oh, you are there. Thank you. Amadi. He said, Amadi. What do you consider Amadi with my family? Okay. Even then, Amadi or anybody who say that we will not live under a roof. Let him too not live under a roof. The next day, they were after the program. That same night, a strange breeze went and uprooted the man's roof. Who say our God not a fight about? Shortly after the man died, nobody said they say our pressmen went to see it. They went to take the pictures. He removed and threw it in the next village. So that you will know that no be ordinary hand tear him. Paralyzed from there, he died. And he was calling our brother's name. Somebody here. Any man will say, you will remain in bondage. When you open this bottle, the angel will carry and put her inside another bottle in the name of Jesus. While I was speaking now, a pot appeared before somebody. Who is the person? It appeared before you. While I was talking uh, some moments ago, who is the person? And if, the, if you are here, please come to the altar. The Lord is letting you know that that pot that caged you is about to scatter it now. If the, is the person here, if you're online, please give us a call. While I was ministering, it appeared. Any pot, are you get, get ready now, get ready. Please, if that person is here, I just want to see you. Call me, but because your deliverance has come. If you are watching us online, give me a call. A pot appeared before you in a flash, in a vision. While I was talking, I saw it. Eh? In the, in the revelation, um, this, uh, what do you call it? Clay pot. What kind of pot? Iron pot. The only iron pot. What I saw was a clay pot. You saw it yesterday. Pot na pot. Pot na pot. Bottle. Bottle. Another person is a bottle. Who is the person? Another person is a bottle. If you are the one, run out. God is ending that matter today. I won't take too much time because we have three days of battle here from next week. Invite your family members. If they are present, the better. If they cannot come, then remind, remember them. If you can come with their picture, come with their picture and their names because you are going to speak deliverance upon them in this atmosphere. People are coming from everywhere. Even from Europe, they are coming. Don't sit at home. This program comes once a while and somebody is ordained. Your deliverance is ordained this period. May that person who will answer amen now be among those to testify in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let, let, let nothing disturb you. What happened? Why are you not able to stand like the rest of us? 
Why did they sit down? Eh? All Nigerians, our stomach, they pain us <laughs> from hunger. <laughs> Got no naira, no thing to buy food. No be sickness here. Now, 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 situation of the country. Even me as I did so now. I just they manage. What happened to your stomach? Eh? Okay, it will stop. Don't worry. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Despite the pains, you still came here. You will not go back without pain in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any situation that follow you here will not follow you home in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say every evil situation, every nonsense situation, every nonsense situation, sister, be in the spirit, oh, eh? You see, you will open it with a different spirit now than us. Because God has shown you, say, see, oh, see, oh, when I did, they cook you, put, I don't know. That pot will, will scatter to pieces today. Eh? Thank you, Father. Okay, let's go, let's go. We have very few minutes to leave this place. Are you ready now? Anywhere, put your hand there, get ready. When I say it in the name of Jesus, you open it. It was the Lord Jesus Christ that opened, that commanded the stone to be rolled out. Remove the stone, and the stone was removed. I stand here, for he said, the works that he did, we shall do also. And I come under that authority of his name, with the power of the cross, applying that blood today. Anybody here, they put in any form of cage. They put your business, they put your finance, they put your marriage, Put your siblings, put your certificate, put the document you are expecting, put the contract you are expecting, put your promotion, put your womb anywhere and cage it anywhere. As you open this container, connected to that container, let that container be open for your freedom in the name of Jesus. Open, 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 open. Command yourself, shout your name, come out, come out, come out. Command that situation to come out. Command your documents. Come out of that cage. Your wedding ring, come out of that cage. Your wedding gown, come out of that cage. Your market, come out of that cage. Your certificate, come out of that cage. That expectation you have been waiting for for long. Out, 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 out of that cage. Out of that cage. Receive my miracle. I receive my miracle. I receive my miracle. I will never go away. I receive my miracle. Out from the spirit of delay. Out from the spirit that catches your progress. Out from the spirit of stagnation. Come out of that invocation and incantation. Come out of that shrine. Come out of that.
You are out of that cage in the name of Jesus Christ. I say you are, you are out of that cage in the name of Jesus Christ. He came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. I connect this water to the water that flow by the side of Jesus. As somebody will drink this water, every aspect of your life that the enemy has destroyed shall receive restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody, your health shall be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Your business shall be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Your marriage shall be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. I say again, your peace and joy shall be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Your ministry shall be restored, somebody, in the name of Jesus Christ. And every door, relationship for your progress that you lost, there shall be restoration today in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord has anointed me to break yokes. I come by that grace. And if any enemy has put any nyama nyama in your body, somebody, as you drink this water, there shall be environmental sanitation. <laughs> Diabetes will disappear. <laughs> High blood pressure shall be restored. <laughs> Incurable malaria typhoid will be flushed away. <laughs> West pain will disappear. <laughs> the cause of every pain in your body will be flushed away. That which is drying your blood it shall be chased away. Yeah. That which causes weakness shall be chased away. Yeah. And strength shall be restored. Yeah. He came to give us abundant life. Somebody say, call your name and say, receive abundant life. Yeah. Do what I tell you to do. You will say, call your name, Moses Alu. Receive abundant life in the name of Jesus. Say it. Can you say it louder? Focus your mind in the area you want restoration. You will now. You will now shout your name and say, receive total restoration in the name of Jesus. Say it. Say it again and drink that water. Receive total restoration in the name of Jesus. Drink it and receive life, life, life. Drink small and cover it. Drop the bottle of water. Place one hand on your stomach and one hand on your head. Shout your name again and say, receive total restoration in the name of Jesus. Say it. Can you say it louder? That situation is hearing your voice now. Say it. For the last time, very loud. The Bible says he's a friend to sinners. Somebody say, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon me. Say it. Say it. Very loud. For the last time, somebody. Oh, Father, show us your mercy, Lord. Like the way you showed Lazarus, Father. As I make this ministration, you did it for Lazarus and he became free. You shouted on the cross and cover it is finished. When I say, I lose you in the name of Jesus and you say amen and you turn 360 degrees at my word. It's a prophetic action. Wherever they tie you, you will be loose. I say you will be loose. I say you will be loose. 
your waist will be loose. Your womb will be loose. Your business will be loose. Your documents will be loose. Your account will be loose. I say you yourself, your ministry will be loose. The gift that you have that has been dormant will be loose. It will catch fire again. Are we ready? Are we ready? Wherever you are, they tie your business. <laughs> Anytime I do this, I hear testimonies. They tie your finance. They tie your womb to delay conception. They tie your marriage. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They tie your certificate. They tie your visa. They tie your passport. Uh -huh. They tie your husband. They tie your wife. They tie the people that God has ordained to bless you. They tie your spirit. You are disorganized spiritually. They tie you in any way. Including the grace that God has given you. They tie your dream. That's why you don't dream and remember again. That's why you don't hear the voice again. That's why you don't pray for the sick anymore. They don't receive healing. That's why the joy of the Holy Ghost is no more there. The fire is no more there. And that person can answer me, amen, and turn 360 degrees. By the authority God has given me as his servant to bind and to lose. Even as he lose Lazarus, and Lazarus was free. Uh -huh. Are we ready? Wherever you are, they tie you in any way, and that person can turn. You are the one ordained for today's program. You are loose in the name of Jesus. Turn. Your business is loose in the name of Jesus. Your womb is loose in the name of Jesus. Right? Your family is loose in the name of Jesus. Right? Your documents are loose in the name of Jesus. Your ministry is loose in the name of Jesus. You are totally loose in Jesus' name. You are loose, 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 loose the people of God. Lose them, Jesus said it is finished. Get out of their lives. Get out of their lives. Let them prosper. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Restoration. Restoration, 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 restoration. Get out of that pot. Restoration. Lose them, lose them, lose them. Lose them to prosper. Lose them to prosper. Lose them to progress in their life. Lose their market. Lose their market. Lose them. Lose them. Lose them. Oh Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Holy Spirit of God, I thank you. I thank you. Thank you for these testimonies. Thank you for these testimonies. Online, yes, vomit that process, vomit it out, vomit that poison, environmental sanitation. Let that pain go, let that pain in the chest disappear, disappear that chest pain, disappear, disappear, diabetes, disappear, 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 let that cancer disappear. Let that lump disappear. Uh -huh. Moving object, vomit it out. The poison they gave you food to eat in a dream, vomit it, vomit it. Come out. Come out. Jesus has set us free. Jesus has set us free. We can't be in bondage again. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I say power from above. There is power from above. Healing from above. Healing from above, there is healing. I receive my healing. I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive my healing from. I receive. 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 I receive. I receive. I receive my healing from. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. I receive. I receive my healing from I receive my healing Lord I receive it claim 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 it I receive I receive my healing receive it receive it receive it receive it receive I receive my healing Receive your healing, receive your healing. 
restored. You believe by this coming here today. Now pick your offering as you thank him and tell the Lord this is my offering of thanksgiving. Line by line, coordinators, you can help us very orderly. Line by line, as you thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him and drop that offering at the altar. Drop the offering at the altar. Ahem. Open your mouth and give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Hallelujah. Line by line. God has given me victory. Hallelujah, I shall be permanent. Uh -huh. Permanent in my life. Line by line. God has given me victory. Line by line. Hallelujah, I shall be permanent in my life. Permanent in my life. Oh, yes, Lord. Accept my offering of thanksgiving, Jesus. Accept my offering. Accept my offering of thanksgiving. Accept my offering of thanksgiving, Jesus. Thank him, thank him. Evidence that you believe is that you will thank him. Evidence that you believe you will testify. Begin to thank him from now. God has given me victory. Aha. me victory. That's my testimony. again and appreciate God that hand that he gave that hand that gave offering now that hand remained blessed forever so use it and worship God 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 use it and use it and worship God hallelujah praise the Lord as the fire return the fire don't come back the fire the fire don't come back Eh? They have gave me the visa. They've given you the visa before Uncle. <laughs> Clap your hands for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, now. I think they refuse you, then they refuse you. She got they go refuse. Yes, sir. She got they go refuse. Yes, sir. Then she decided to, to, to hold God. Eh? She decided to hold God. 
challenge God. Say, wait till. Eh? When did you do that? When? I got it last week. When did I pray for you? I think it's last month when I came. Before when you I came? Went to the embassy. Before you went to the embassy, you passed through the altar. He, he has he, done he, for he can't me. Stop. He has done for me. Oh, yes. He has done for me. Oh, yes. He has done for me. What my, my brother can do. not do. He has done what my brother can do. He has done for me. Oh, yes. How many people want to pay tight? How many people want to pay tight? Come to the altar, let your hand be anointed. The source of that tight can never dry. You're sending it by transfer of enemies. And we have our POS at the end there. Enemies. That the source of this tight, I decree, it shall not dry in the name of Jesus. For the wonders you have done, I will see God in the The wonders you have done, I will see God in the recognize the grace in a ministry you will you will be a partaker of the grace of that ministry amen there are people that come here they don't like us but they go still they come that one uh, not devil they deal with you who do you that you don't believe in any ministry there are many many even here so if there's one big one near us here there's another one behind the canal here behind Thousands of people are always going there. Go to where you think you will be blessed. If you don't believe in a ministry. But if you believe in a ministry, stay there if you own, no come today. Tomorrow you will come. Because you believe it. Amen. You know, if, if you... We are careful to say some things, but it's a fact. You know, you give a, a, a cup of water to a... To... Pastor, <laughs> to a who? To who? To a pastor. You will receive a pastor's reward every time. Prophet, 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 prophet. Eh? Amen. I needed to do something very, very urgently in the bank uh, last week. Last week. And I couldn't see how I can ever enter the bank. Then I remember the sister that works in a bank. Her branch. She, they couldn't do that in her branch. She said, wait, let her find out which branch can do it. She left the whole day. Left her branch. Left, she's a senior officer there. Left her branch to come and make sure my problem was solved. And when she handed the documents to me, I told her, because you do this. Amen. I said, my God will bless you. Amen. She said that the next day, they release her promotion that has been delayed. <laughs> Hallelujah. And she was so excited, she couldn't wait to say, Pastor, your God is indeed a true God. And now she's promoted deputy manager of a very big bank, very, very big bank. When you recognize the grace of God, she recognized, where is that sister? She recognized the grace of God. And I blessed her also. Now, I'm not telling you to come. I say, the fact that you are here, and you are answering amen to our pronouncement, you are recognizing the grace. Amen. You are recognizing the grace. Praise the Lord. But this God honors faith. None of you that came here today will be without a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. It's very difficult to move around now. 
The road is blocked. You can't even come around here with your cars. I don't even know how you got here. Despite that, you say you must go there. There are churches in your street. Every 10 houses, there is a church in Lagos. But you left all of them and entered this place. Despite all the blockade everywhere, God will honor that faith. Whatever is your heart desire that make you connect to this program today, the Lord shall grant it. The Lord shall grant it. By next Tuesday, you will testify. I said, by next Tuesday, you will testify in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Immediately we close. Our ministers who have been here since yesterday, God has blessed us with gifts. Healing, deliverance. We are here. Our time is gone. That's why I'm rushing. I was supposed to close about 10 minutes ago. Please. Just wait here, one by one, one by one. It's not in Jesus' name prayer. Tell her what's wrong with you. If you pray, we will tell you to check. If he's still there, say he's still there, he never go. If he's tired, then you say, okay, which day I go come here, you continue. I make I know your name. So that when I come, I ask for your name. Uh -huh. Here, we know they stop until there's testimony. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, so, so immediately we close, just come. And immediately we close also now, as usual, we want to secure that pregnancy and bless that womb as we do every Tuesday. And it has never failed. That womb must open and conceive in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And we are here every Friday. Every Friday, every Tuesday, Friday night, 10 p.m., all night. We know we are children of God, and we know Satan will not leave us alone. But we know what to do to keep him away. We pray without ceasing. And our members, in case you are just hearing us, you want to join us, our members, every night we do midnight prayer. We call it one hour with Jesus. Before you sleep. One hour with Jesus. And this is not a one man ministry. And what we teach here, God confirms it. Every Christian does not speak in tongue. It's a wrong doctrine. But every Christian oppresses the gift of the word of knowledge. God ordained it as a means of talking to you. That is true dream. You hear audible voice, a vision or inspiration. In the night, any matter you present before God and you worship him and you present it before him, if there is anything you need to know concerning that matter, if you sleep, you will see a dream in it. And every dream is a prayer point. And any prayer you offer, after you see anything, it comes to pass. I've taught you this. Don't let the devil cheat you with sleep. One hour. All our members, except those who are falling from grace. If you call anybody by 12, he tell you, say, wake up, say, I see your missed call. What happened, say, I did sleep that time. He has fallen from grace. He's supposed to be awake. And, and then I say, you should phone me. Oh. Don't call me by, because you say, no, say, Pastor, go there awake by this time. I'm not awake for you. I'm awake for myself. I mean, oh my God, they sort her out. You too. Pray. Now, the, now only emergency then they call us for night. The daytime we the minister to you. In the night, make we say, have some more time for ourselves. Uh -huh. So don't come and start uh, disturbing us. Uh, Elvis, I know Elvis is smart if you're awake now. He's awake for himself. But in case it's emergency, if you call, we know pick you. Just send text. I did die, oh, pastor. I did die, oh. Then I'll come and wake you up. You will not die in the name of Jesus. I say you will not die in the name of Jesus. Uh, you come here for the first time. We want to see you. Can you come to the altar today? It's your first time. We want to minister to you in a special way. You we want to welcome you. Place, what they told right you about this place before you came, we want to right confirm it. Place. Whatever they told you about this place before you came here today, we want to confirm it. Bring your bag. Bring your bag. We are not going back to your seat. You are in the right place, you are in the right place, at the right 
time with the right people. You will not go back. You can never go back the same. You can never you go back the, the same. Right place. You are in the right place at the right time with the right people. You will not go back the same way. Okay, just follow them, just follow them. We'll see you at the back here. We'll see you at the back here now. We'll see you at the back. God bless you. The rest of us, can we stand up? You will not go back the same way you came. Church, put your hands together for our great God. Okay, immediately we close, please. Just like the pastor uh, said, we'll come over here, the healing and deliverance. They are much ready to pray with us in the name of Jesus. Wave your hands to heaven. In appreciation to God for the blessings you've received this great afternoon. Just appreciate him. As you go, the Lord will go with you in the name of Jesus. Every blessings you've received today, it shall materialize in the name of Jesus. Whatever you lay your hands to do after now, you shall eat the fruit thereof in the name of Jesus. Where there was a closed door before now, go back, the doors are opened in the name of Jesus. As I decree, let it remain so. In Jesus' blessed name, we we'll pray. Let us share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus rise, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, the Lord's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let us close this service with seven thunderous hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to go. Two, three, four, five, six. Finally. Remain blessed, remain rapturable. Shalom. Sisters that are pregnant and those believing God for the fruit of the womb, please come and let your two hands be anointed. Go back to the restroom, anoint your womb and come back for prayers. Those that are pregnant and those believing God for the fruit of the womb, please come and let your two hands be anointed. Go back to the restroom, anoint your womb and come back for prayers. Please, if you are here for water baptism, Come and meet me here at the altar. Water baptism, please come and meet me here at the altar. And if you need further prayers for healing or deliverance, there is a seat that will be arranged at the front over there. Please come and take a seat at the front over there. Please, sisters that are pregnant and those believing God for the fruit of the womb, come and let your two hands be anointed. Go back to the restroom, anoint your womb, and come back for prayers. Those that are pregnant and those believing God for the fruit of the womb, please come and let your two hands be anointed. Go back to the restroom, anoint your womb, and come back for prayers. And you are here, you need further prayers for healing or deliverance. A seat will be arranged at the front over there. Please go and have a seat at the front over there. Please, if you are here to be baptized, meet me here at the altar. Touch me one more time. Oh, if you are here to be baptized, come and meet me here at the altar. Those for water baptism, Touch please me come and meet me time. here at the altar. If you need further prayers for healing or deliverance, a seat is being arranged at the front over here. Please come and take a seat at the front. If you are here to be baptized, come and meet me at the altar here. Sisters that are pregnant and those believing God for the fruit of the womb, come and let your two hands be anointed. Go back to the restroom, anoint your womb, and come back for prayers.
what's happening? What's happening? What is happening there? I feel something like cold. Eh? Cold something. Cold? Yes. I feel it something cold. Yes. Oh, yeah. Look for it. Now, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it now? You're looking for it. Uh -huh. Eh? What is happening? Talk to us. <laughs> Who said Jesus no day? You are supposed to go for operation. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. You book the operation. Yes, sir. I don't pay some part of money, sir. I paid part of the money. Yes. Ah, thank you, Jesus. And they are supposed to do a surgery to remove yes. the lump. If a doctor told me to wait, to do it, I eh? said, wait, make I go meet my pastor eh? first. Doctor said, make I make you do it. I said, make I go meet my pastor, make I go pray at first. Before they remove the lump. Yes. Something just was growing yes. as a lump at his back. I saw it. Lay hand on it. Jesus. It has disappeared. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's gone.
Thank you. 